Hey, Mickey Bone Gang, Vinny here, and you're watching Pelican Bone Outdoors. So we're out here at this little tiny bridge right by the house, and uh, I got shrimp on the brain, and I'll tell you why in a little bit. But the reason I'm filming this intro in the Jeep is because I haven't built up the, uh, the huevos to get out in this heat yet. It's just freaking miserable. It ain't even 7.30, and it's hot. muggy it's nasty probably tired of hearing me say that because i say it in almost every video and that's because it's always friggin' hot triple digits triple digits for like three days this week it's just stupid all right so i always come out to this bridge in the adjacent ditches to go ahead and get some uh, little minnows and some little uh, finger mullet to feed my pool pond bass and the other day i came out here and threw the little cast net right off the bridge caught myself a couple shrimp so i got to thinking i'm like i want some shrimp so the first goal today is to throw this little cast net who already has a bunch of big holes in it to just check for snags so we don't lose our big cast net and i'm already seeing what i can only suspect is some shrimp hopping on top of the water so let's go ahead and get started with that all right so i know this side has a lot of snags already so i'm gonna wait hit that last just to see where we can throw but uh, we'll start over here. I know there's one little snag. I'm fairly certain of it right here. But uh, trawling season actually opens in a few days. Uh, three days to be exact. So I can actually catch 50 pounds of shrimp with a cast net when it's not actually shrimp season. I highly doubt we're going to catch 50 pounds, but hey, you never know. I'm gonna go ahead and throw it. I'm going to let it sink all the way to the bottom. And I'm going to drag it across the bottom. That way I can find out if there's any snags. That way we can throw that big cast net and really do some damage, you know? Doop, 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 doop. Doop, 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 doop. Oh, there's one right there. Okay, there's a little snag there. All right, what I might have to do is just toss it out there, not drag it across the bottom, and just haul it on back up. Let's see if there's anything in the net. And, oh, look, we already got one, two. Oh, 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 oh. Two on the first cast. Look at that. Look at them little shrimp daddies. Look at that box. A little shrimp now. <laughs> Come here, you. Where you going? Boop. Shoo, boy. All right, I tell you what. This uh got a little bit of current flow and a little bit of movement in the water. So I reckon if we could just find one decent spot with no snag, and we could just start throwing that big cast. And it also brought a couple crab nets. Because, I mean, if we're going to barrel something, might as well barrel it all, right? Get some shrimps and some uh, crab barreling. All right, let's throw it right here. Let's see. I got a feeling I'm not going to be patient enough and I'm just going to throw that big one in and uh, just have to deal with the consequences if we get uh, snagged on something or other. Look at that, dude. Two more. Oh, no, we're throwing a big one. No, three shrimps. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We're going to have to put that down, cuz. Come here. Yes, sir. Because we catching them with holes in the net. And this little two-foot net right here. Two foot net, three foot maybe, the most, two and a half foot, I don't know. And I'm caught in my necklace. Oh, no world. What in the Sam hell? Got back. What? Stop. Come here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Everything else gonna have to wait. Because I don't know if the shrimp, I don't know if these shrimps are gonna slow down or not. So we're gonna go ahead and get it while it's hot. You know what I'm saying? I don't mean the weather, I just mean, you know what I mean. Ooh, I love living on the bayou, baby. Got the big net. Big net that I'm not that good at throwing, but we're gonna do it anyway. Cause I watched a video and they showed me how to do it. Oh yeah, that was way out there, huh? I might not let it hit all the way to the bottom just cause I don't want to get snagged on nothing. Take any chances. Ooh, I see a shrimp. How many we got? I think we got more shrimp than the little one. That might be because we let it hit the bottom. Let's see. Where'd it go? Oh, there he is. That's one. And they got them all out of here. No, we got two. Got two. Okay, okay. Might have to just start dropping them in that bucket so we ain't got to keep opening this ice chest every time. I guess every now and then when we get a couple few of them, we just throw them in there. Wait, I heard something popping. Did I miss one? Yeah, give me this bucket. Open this bucket up. That was a terrible throw. Quite terrible. Ooh, got some more. Ooh, this is a good hole. Dude, look at that. Bro, loaded. Loaded. Let's see what we got. Let me get away from this hole in the bridge right there so we ain't losing, man. That was a terrible cast. 
and we got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten shrimp eleven shrimp and one cast bro i didn't think it was gonna be that good i honestly didn't think it was gonna be that good in one place we got enough for a cocktail already right, let's see if we can get a better cast because you imagine how many shrimps we can get with a good cast and sling that ain't 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 terrible but it ain't terrific either oh buddy look at them dude look at the shrimp they're not bad size either look at that look at that that ain't a bad size oh look i'm about to throw more back look at that there's four more come out in there now nah, well, it's terrible but i don't think it matters still catching shrimp Even on the bad cast, we catching shrimp. One of these days, I'm gonna figure out how to throw this daggum thing. We're gonna catch a ton of stuff. But apparently, today ain't the day. Man, no. Man, I suck. I'm telling you, sometimes I can get it. It open up just like a pretty little bell. Like a pretty little southern bell, but then the rest of the time, look like a daggum taco. Uh-oh. I think we got something other than a shrimp on this one. Oh yeah, a little catfish. Dang it, I don't want the catfish. I just want the shrimp. Them catfish get tangled up in the net. Gotta sit there and fight with them for a daggum hour trying to get them out. Of course, a catfish, that might be good for some crab bait now. You know? But that's all right, I already got cut bait for that, so I'll go ahead and let them loose, let them go, let them grow, you know? Ugh. Nope, come here, shrimp. Come here, shrimp. All right, catfish. Let's see how we're gonna do this. Let's see which part you're on. <sighs> you gotta watch these little guys, cause these barbs on their uh, on their fins right here is what's gonna get you. And the problem is, is they serrated in the opposite direction. So it goes in these little loops easy, but it don't come out easy because it wants to grab on them when you're pulling them out. And then these little guys will stick you because their fins are so daggum sharp. Oh, that wasn't too bad. Oh, that wasn't too bad, bud. All right. Well, get out of here. Go over there. I don't want to catch you again here. Yeah? All right, here we go. This is going to be the throw. We're going to get this one right. Swing back a little bit. We're just going to toss yeah, that was a little better. A little better, a little better. Let's see what we got with that one. Ain't seeing too much. Oh, yeah, we got a couple. A couple, a few. Not as much as I'd anticipated with such a beautiful cast. No freaking way, dude. I just caught a redfish in a cast net. Look at that pretty little baby rat red. Come here, buddy. We're going to get you back in there. Check him out. He probably feasts on little baby shrimps. I'll tell you what, though. That got me thinking, cuz. I'm going to have to put one of them live shrimps on a cork and see what we can catch. You know, they sell them live shrimp for bait for 35 cents a pop. All right, we're going to uh, we'll go ahead and put old Gigantus Rigacus over here on the side for a moment. And we'll get the old Monster Bash Lunker stick handy. And then we're going to catch us a live shrimp. Slap it on that hook with a cork. See if we can't catch us a, a fish. Man, didn't get many on that throw. I ain't gonna stick it through this bad boy without hitting none of the vital organs. Right there. Boom. There we go. He's still kicking and plopping and plopping. All right, buddy. Go catch me something pretty. Yeah. Uh huh. I reckon I'm gonna go ahead and toss this little crab net on this side. See if they got any of them, uh, them big old bugs running. Speaking of bugs, look at that crab leg right there on the edge of the thing right there. I don't think that's long enough, is it? No, I don't think so. Need to add some strain to that thing. That thing I brought some. Mm. Ooh, finally got somewhat of a slight breeze blowing. Ooh, I see shrimp jumping again. Oh, oh, we got, we got some shad. Got some shads. What I should do is go run them shads over to the pool pond, throw it to the bass, but I ain't trying to leave all my stuff here. Throw them back. The shrimp stay right there. 
try not to step on you when I throw it this time. Oh yeah, there we go. There we go. That's gonna catch a catch a dozen or so right there, I guarantee. Oop, I felt it hit the bottom, yeah. Let's see what we got, y'all. Come here. Come here. Woo, we got us another redfish. That's not what I'm trying to catch. But at least it's something to catch. That's good to see though. It's good to see some little baby redfish. That means they're getting some hatcheries. Honestly, I ain't been seeing a ton of them. But there he is. That's good. That's good to see. Means we're getting some breeders. Anything? Anybody home? Ooh, got a little crab. What you say, bud? Eh, we're gonna throw you back. You're a little small. I mean, you eatable. That's for sure, but... Since we already got a mess of shrimp, we might as well go ahead and be particular on our crabs. Oh, time for another crab net check. No, well, different crabs, same size. Ooh, they're doing a number on that piece of bait, though. Tell you what, probably should have kept one of them uh, mullet that I caught in a cast net a, a minute ago. Check for traffic, and we're crossing. <clears throat> All right, I'm going against my better judgment, and I'm going to toss this over the backside of the bridge without even checking for snacks. Tell you what, we're not gonna let it go all the way to the bottom. That's what we're gonna do. And it's far enough. Oh, I see one shrimp. Oh, caught it on the bridge. Oh yeah, it's a couple of them. Nicer too. Toss it one more time before we head back. Cause uh, no, don't go in that hole. We need you over here. Yes, calm down, calm down. Oh yeah, we're picking up a few on this side. And another catfish, it. bigger catfish. But we're getting more shrimp, had to switch over. Oh yeah, a few more shrimp. There we go. Oh, you got yourself tangled up, son. Uh-uh-uh, don't you stick me. If you stick me, it's gonna be a bad day for both of us, I guarantee. Ooh, this one is a mess. Hold on, buddy. All right, bud. Have a great day. Ooh, that's a nice one there. Ain't too bad. Yeah, I think we found another little mess of them right here on just on the other side of the bridge. Yeah, that's what we got in about three calves, three, four calves. Tell you what, let's check that crab trap because my arm is tiring. And I'm going to have to get in the shade for a second. Sun's frying my brain. Tree crabs. Ain't none of them big enough. They're getting smaller. You don't know how to I actually put out two this time, so I'm going to check the same one. And then see if the other one does any better on the other side. Make sure y'all can see clear because I... Notice in the last couple videos, every now and then I get some smudges on the lens, and this drives me nuts. It's got to drive y'all nuts. Feels pretty light. Nothing. Who threw that trash in the body? I was just here. Unbelievable. Somebody must have threw it out the window on the way across the bridge. Do better, people. Man, ain't no crabs running. Oh, we got a log. That's a pretty stick. That's going to go in the pool pond. What else we got? Oh, we got some mullet. There we go. I'm going to go ahead and keep that mullet because I'm going to need some bait uh, for the next video. Y'all stay tuned for that. I'm gonna, I think I'm going to make another attempt on them ginormous alligator gar. But this time in a different locale. And we're going to need some bait to start out with just in case we can't get carp like the last time. So catch a shrimp though, baby. All right, so it is much later in the evening, kind of like uh, 6.06 .06 to be exact, because I got a little overheated out there. And uh, as I was picking my stuff up, dang near passed out, leaning over to grab the ice chest. So I decided to come back, take a shower, take a nap, rejuvenate so we can cook this delicious meal. So first thing we're starting out with, bacon. Oh, we need a pan. Where's the pan? There it is. I'm gonna go ahead and start off with four strips of bacon. I ain't gonna tell y'all what we making, Till we done. Let that cook for a moment. Here's some of the shrimp got them all peeled up. Actually got the peelings in the refrigerator. Probably gonna make some kind of shrimp stock out of it or I'll just throw it in a compost pile or feed it to the chickens. If you can do that. Anyway, we need to uh, season these things up. So I'm gonna go ahead and toss some of that Creole seasoning like I always do. Cause you know, stuff tastes pretty much good on everything. Ooh, you know what else we could do? I have a basil plant. Got it, might as well use it, right? Do -do 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 -do. Next up, some Trinity. Of course, the garlic powder, some paprika, woo, and last but not least, some of that black pepper. Black pepper. 
black. There we go. Mm. Now what I'm gonna do? Just stir it up, get that seasoning all up in there. That's looking good already. Shrimp sushi, anyone? Actually, I don't think you can do that. You probably die. Bacon's done. Mm-hmm. I better not set that there. And of course, we're gonna leave that bacon grease right in the pan, and we're gonna go ahead and drop them shrimp right in that bacon grease. Cause that ain't nothing but flavor, baby. And while that shrimp's cooking, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, cut out the rest of these vegetable bobbles and get some stuff prepared. Get you on the other side of that. Woo wee! What oh, that smells good, look at that. Mmm, son, let me do this. Drop it in this bowl so it don't just keep on cooking. Oh, it smells so good. All right, now what I got done, oh, gotta turn the fire off. Don't wanna burn the house down. Set that right there. Now what I got going on here is we got some uh, a brioche style bread. Fancy. Got that mayo slapped on both sides of the bread. Bring this over here like this. Oh, don't wanna set that down, it's still hot. Boy, I'm determined to set this house on fire. Anyway, I'm gonna take this here cilantro and I'm gonna sprinkle it right there on that mayo. Look at that. Oh, my word, huh? Let's do that some more. Let's get some more of that. I like cilantro. I can't have too much of that. We just put it all over there. Oh, I think I need another pinch. Heck, I might even put it on both sides. There we go, there we go. I'm just getting crazy with it, nah. Then, I'm gonna put some shrimp on my bread. Ooh, got a little juices flowing right there. Oh, silky, silky. Ooh, that's gonna be so say bon. Mmm, give me a good little bit more. Now, I kinda wanted to do this on the grill, grill them shrimps, but uh, it's too hot out there to be standing over a barbecue pit, you know what I'm saying? So, this came out better anyway because I cooked it in the bacon grease. Ooh, huh. that's good all by itself. Right now we gotta slap an old tea mater. There we go. I might be doing this backwards. Probably should have put the piece of lettuce on there first, but that's okay, piece of lettuce. And then unfortunately, the avocado at the uh, grocery store wasn't ripe yet. It's pretty hard. It's pretty disappointing, because that would have made this Fantastic. So you know when you execute something just so perfectly, you're so proud of it, and you can't, you just like, can't wait to show somebody, it's freaking excellent, and then you realize you forgot that one thing that just ruined the whole thing, and it's pretty much a scrap. Yeah, well, that's what just happened when I fixed this dish, ate it, and then realized the uh, record button wasn't on. But that's okay, I still gotta fix one for the wife and we'll let her taste it. You get to see her taste it on camera. I'll just drop you a little hint. It's delicious. Go ahead and cut her in half, diagonal like. Just to make it look a little fancier than it actually is. Oh, me shatty bub, that's gonna be so good. All right, let's get her. Baby, 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 come here, I need you. That was me screaming. Did you say, I need you? I did. Okay, I said, I'm hey, fine. baby. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Taste what that. Taste that. I accidentally did all mine and ate it and then forgot to hit the record button. So now we're going to. Uh... Oh, you know I hate these live things. It's not live. I'm not. It's recorded. Enough. Bring it down. There you go. You're on camera. Don't get nervous. Well, that's what I'm talking about. Don't get nervous. No, I don't like this. Just eat it. I'm trying. Bring it down further. I'm not as tall as you. I'm not as tall as Green Giant. Mmm. Mmm, let's get that zoom in while she's chewing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so attractive. <laughs> what you think? Oh, this is really good. Delicious, huh? Yeah, Man, delicious. it would have been so much better with the avocado, but that's okay. It's got bacon. It's got bacon. It's very good. It's very good. Very good. Yeah. Very good. See, she said it. She doesn't lie. Mm. Do you? No. No. Never. All right, well, I can't wait to do this again with the avocado because, like I said, I think that would be... But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And thank the Lord for letting us uh, enjoy his creation and making it so delicious. But hit that thumbs up button if you like it. Subscribe if you haven't. I'll catch you guys on the next video. It's probably going to be an adventure. Well, I guess the first thing we need to do is go ahead and toss this cast net. See if these shrimps are even still here. Before we get too set up, you know? Seems like the water conditions are pretty much the same as the last time I was out here. Current's moving the right way, and I was t 
tossing that cast net over, catching two dozen shrimp a cast. And then on the third cast, it got uh, snagged on the bottom and I lost that cast net. So I'm on this side of the bridge instead of the side I was catching them on. Ain't gonna catch nothing like that. Oh, I'm seeing shrimp jump already. And fish chasing them. Got one. That's a start. Just waiting for the bus to pass. How you making, Bone Gang? Vinny here. And that's right, we're out here trying to catch some shrimp again. Like I was saying the other day, I was over here on this side of the bridge. Let me cross over without getting hit by anything. And uh, I was tossing this away. And I'm telling you, like two dozen shrimp a cast. And then the uh, problem was the current's moving this way so fast. By the time I started pulling it in, the net was right under the bridge. And there's a lot of junk under the bridge. Get caught up on and uh, caught snag and couldn't get it loose. So it's uh, still down there. But anyway, after catching uh, all of those shrimp, got the fever again. I love shrimp. I mean, who doesn't love shrimp, right? So brought the cast net out here again. And uh, we're going to see how many we can get. Got Frank on the way. Hopefully he brought a cast net because I'm... Sure, I'm gonna end up losing this one at some point. Anyway, let's get back at it. Well, they're still here. Just make a hole right there. Go ahead and toss them in there. There you go. Wait, where'd you go? Stay. No, stay. Where are you going? Stay right there. Unfortunately, the cast net we lost was a big old six footer. Oh, look, there's Frank right there. And this one here ain't, but I don't know. Let's see. That's about a four footer. I really want to toss back on the other side of that bridge, but we're going to see if Frank's got a cast net first, because uh, if we only got one, you know, you know. There we go. That's a cast there, cuz. We might have to toss a fishing pole out, because if them fish are chasing these shrimps. Oh, yeah, look at this. Got a few. Got a few. A few meaning two, I guess. I thought it was moving that. Ain't hitting like it was the other day. Oh, no, we got three. But uh, at this rate, we can make a sandwich by lunchtime. Oh yeah, Frank got him a cast net. What else he got? He got two hands full. Oh yeah, well we're getting them every cast. Look at that, that's another three, four, five. Size is a little bit better too than last time. I'll take that. These little ones I'll probably feed to the pool pond bass because you know, they get hungry too. And they like them shrimps. They like these little ones. I think I'm gonna throw them back. Yeah, y'all go grow some more. Oh, look at the size of this dude right here. What you what you doing there, cuz? What we got going on here, cuz? Look at the size of this dude. No, that's a dog -a He's probably there chasing them shrimp too. Look at that dude. That's a pretty boy. Go grow some more, buddy. What's up, man? You have to go buy a cast net? Yeah. <laughs> Frank said he wants some shrimp too. You know how to throw a cast net, Frank? Sometimes. Yeah, me too. <laughs> I've been getting better, man. I've been getting better. I'm really good with my uh, three-footer. Well, it's a three-footer. <laughs> I'm good with my, my, well, I used to have a three-footer. Look at this, every cast, man. Definitely still got shrimp out here. This ain't, ain't as many as I was catching the last time I was out, but. Still catching, though. Oh, you got a knife on you, man? Of course I do, all men carry knives. Oh wait, who puts a zip tie on the net? I'm trying not to cut your hand or the net. I appreciate that. Whew! It was intense. That's Woo! Terrible. That's terrible. Man, your net's loud. Well, you're gonna get a workout. There you go. I got a few up in there. It's a nice size one. All right. Since Frank does have a net, I'm gonna go to this side and hopefully I can pull it in fast enough to where it don't get hung up, but this is where the money spot was last time, so let's see. Just gonna have to toss it out and reel it in right quick. Maybe not let it touch the, oh yeah, the water's not moving as fast, so I think we'll be fine. I think we'll be fine. And nope, not any better than this side. Jeez, um, what are you doing? We're gonna hit all of them on the beach, everybody. Ooh, they got bigger shrimp on this side. Look at that dude. Yeah, nice cocktail. I'd have to throw that shrimp on the barbie. I think he had a swell over a 13 foot. 
Yeah. Still pulling them up every cast though. Yeah. It's been like this. Oh, look at a little jellyfish. Ain't seen that in a little while. I had one in my net just now. Oh, there's one up there. Man, I'll be wasting shrimp, shrimp right? on the bridge. Shrimp on the bridge. See, that's why I started putting the bucket over the hole because last time they sneak off in there if I missed them. Oh, look, there was one right there. Oh, there's two of them right here, man. Wasting shrimp. Almost threw them back. Oh, yeah, Frank. Almost look like you know what you're doing. Are you putting it in your mouth? Yeah. You don't need to do that, man. <laughs> I watched a YouTube video with an older fella, and he said to do this. Like, you hold it to where it's about waist, uh -huh. high like that. Come up, grab that end, flip it over this way. Come all the way back down, grab another end like this. And then you take your pinky and you stick it in your pocket right there. And don't move that hand and just toss this. And when I remember to do that, it works 90% so of the that time. For? That, well, that clips on your belt? I have no idea what that's for. It's supposed to assist in opening them. Oh, I have no idea. Maybe so. Oh, stupid catfish, man. It's a little bitty catfish. Oh, man. That's about the biggest catfish I caught in a cast net so far. Gosh dang it. Oh, he's. There's such a pain to get. Catfish, huh? it's a, yeah, there's such a pain to get out of this net. <sighs> nah, bro, I don't want them fins poking a hole in my pool pond. I ain't exactly got the money to replace it. Alright, buddy. Almost got you. Oh, 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 oh. Come on, one more, one more fin. There you go. Be free. I had a little perch in here. There we go. Send you back. Yeah. There we go. That's the kind of that's the kind I want right here. Come here. Come here. Come here. There it is. Like to get a few of them. All right, guys. If you see my last video, uh, we actually finally caught the alligator garbin after. So I'm kind of hooked on it. So while we're out here, Frank just caught a mullet. I'm gonna slap him on this treble hook and see if we can't just let it out there. Oh, don't you hook me. Oh no, don't you go in the hole either. As I was saying, I'm going to hook this guy on here and, uh, I don't know, see if we can get something. There we go. The wind up and the pitch. There we go. Now I'll just stick it right here. Loosen up the drag all the way. And uh, we'll just let her sit. Try not to hit the line when you throw in the cast net. Yeah. And I will uh, try to do the same. Ow! Almost had it. But you got it right in the nip. <laughs> right in the nip. Woo, caught something. What is this, drum or a sheep head? Got us a drum, a little puppy drum. We'll put you back all nice and gentle like. I don't want to touch it too much. Mess up your slime coat. Ooh, but you are in there, huh? Might have to. There you go, buddy. Live long and prosper. Have some babies. And where'd all the shrimp go? There they go. Got a couple of them. Still getting them, still getting them. Ain't much size to these though. Oh, how'd that one get on the outside of the net? Oh, that's a decent one in this one. Well, I wish they all were like that. Hey, you want a rubber boot? Huh? Oh, look at that. Let's see if you can catch it. Oh, way off. Now the body's gonna stay dirty just because you missed that boot. Might have been a bad throw. Woo, look at the size of them boys. Yeah, you got a few good size ones in there. I'm glad you missed the boot. <laughs> yeah, he's darker for sure. I think it's a sea bob the way his face is made. Yeah, I don't. I know that's different. I know this brown shrimp and this white shrimp, but I don't know the difference. I didn't know about sea bobs until. Uh, What's a sea bob? Is sea bob a brown shrimp or you it's just a, something else? No, it's something else, but it's similar. Well, how many kind of shrimp they got? See how his don't have a real long prong? Yeah. I think that's a sea bob. They're legal to catch. I mean. Well, he's gonna get eaten. <laughs> I don't discriminate. Oh, don't tell me that. Don't tell me. Oh, Frank. Come on, don't pop. Oh, it's on there, dude. Son of a biscuit. I don't feel it ain't moving either, whatever it is. Oh. <laughs> That's just stupid. Frank. Yeah. Are you hot? 
<laughs> Wanna go for a swim? Well, good thing I got another one coming. Well, guess there really ain't nothing left to do but to just give her a tug. Oh, I can feel her breaking. That's just heartbreaking. Uh, well, I got another rope with a swivel on it. So there's that. Hey, let me borrow your casement. <laughs> Not on that side. <laughs> Shut up, Frank. I don't want to hear it. Still caught a shrimp. <laughs> a big one, too. That's the one I was aiming for. That's why I threw it like that. That's very specific shrimp. You're like, yep. I see it. That's it. It's the one I missed on the other side when I just threw it. Lost my cast net. Yeah, see? I didn't want to catch any other ones. They had small ones around it. So I made sure I didn't throw it perfect so it would like, <laughs> the little taco would land right on the big shrimp. There you go. You aim for that big one, too? Yeah, and this one. I got two of them this time. Tell you what, I don't, I don't mind catching only one or two when they get big like that. I'd like to be catching a couple dozen per cast when they like that, but you know, beggars can't be choosy. Oh, oh, come here. Two cups of cheese. Woo! A little extra cheese never hurt nobody. Nothing like a good mess on the stove. All right, now we're stirring in the cheese and the butter. By the way, we're back at the house cooking some shrimp and grits. Already got the grits cooked up. Just added the butter and the cheese now that the grits is finished. We got uh, Frank over there peeling shrimp. I'll show you him in a second. Stir that up. Everything's getting all nice and melty delicious Ooh, we also got cheese melted to the stove gotta love that all right we're gonna put that on the side grab our frying pan take a look at the recipe again because uh it's my first time all right next step to cook six pieces of bacon guys bacon's expensive went over there i had to get this here manda bacon because it was the cheapest one everything else is gonna put me in the pole house talking about like 10 bucks for a pound of bacon and some some of them some of them some of them uh them brands man we'll get our six pieces of bacon here cooking and then we're gonna use that grease to cook the shrimps in oh my word maybe that's why this bacon's so cheap you can't even get a slice out of it without it coming apart what the what look at this get what you pay for i guess man there ain't no meat on this bacon it's literally all fat guys don't skimp on the bacon go ahead and pay you ten dollars Look at this. What is this? And I want my money back. This wasn't even worth the money I paid for it. I don't even know how many slices we got in here. Look at this. I mean, look at look, look at this. That's two pieces right there. Look at that. What in the Sam Hill? Put one more for good measure. All right, y'all. Our cheap bacon looks about done. I like to get it a little overcooked, a little crispy, because we're going to have to cut it up to little bitty bacon bits. I'm going to get this out of here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to cook the shrimp right in the bacon grease because, because that's what you do. I'm going to get this out. Now, it might be a little bit too much bacon grease because since this uh, bacon was pretty much nothing but fat, wasn't a whole lot of meat on it. Whoa, almost ruined the whole daggum thing and burnt my foot off. All right, let me find something to pour a little bit of this grease out. I don't want too much out, but uh, use this thing. I don't want our, uh, exactly want our shrimp swimming away in this grease. I mean, look at how much that is. All right, let's try not to burn it. Let's do it over the sink just in case. There we go, and if we need more, we got it in that little cup, we can pour it right in there. So I'm gonna go ahead and take the shrimps, and all of that shrimp. It's about a pound of shrimp, we have a tape. Go ahead and ease it on in there. Woo, oh no, we're throwing shrimp. Actually, it looks like it might be a little bit more than a pound. There you go, we're gonna get that nice and cooked up. Let our bacon cool off so we can cut that up. And we're gonna cook this until it turns nice and pink, but the recipe don't call for it, but uh, I can't not season the shrimp. That's just not in, it's just not in my blood, you know. So we're gonna go ahead and hit it with that Trinity. We're gonna hit it with a little bit of cayenne. Because we got the black pepper and the grits. But I need a little bit of cayenne. That ought to be good. We ain't gonna we ain't gonna do it too much. We ain't gonna try and overdo it. Looks good to me. Alright, so now that the shrimp are cooked, we're gonna go ahead and add us some lemon juice all around up in there. A little extra. Bloop. 
And then what we got here is that chopped up bacon. We got some fresh parsley chopped up. We got some green onion and it called for a clove of garlic, but I ain't never put a clove of garlic in nothing. We got a whole head of garlic right here, fellas. So we can go ahead and dump that in. Make sure we get it all in there. Now we're gonna stir that up and let it simmer for like two, three, four minutes. And then we feast. All right, now to fix ourselves up, we're gonna get a big nice scoop of this here grits, like so. I guess we could get a different spoon, I don't know. I'll just use this here spatula. Get us some of them grits, nice pile of shrimp on top of them grits. Ooh, son, look at that. I just want y'all to take a second and look at that. Oh, and then to make it perfect with Frank's duck quacking in the background, we take ourselves a piece of this hell French bread, slap a little butter on that. It ain't gonna spread because it's a, uh, it's there. That's that's good enough. Look at that. Look at that. Mm, mm, mm. Would you just look at it? All right, y'all excuse the mess back there on the counter. We just made that while making up this uh delicious looking meal. Ooh, just dropped some. Hey, Waylon, eat that up, buddy. Clean up my mess. Here we go. Same time. Ready? Same time. Bro, it's good. That might be the best thing I made on the channel yet. Definitely better than possum. Way better than possum. <laughs> oh man. Mmm. My wife's gonna be impressed. That is fantastic. Hi, Mickey Bone Gang. Vinny here in the very beautiful and hot. Southeast Louisiana. My buddy Jared from Outside the Levee's YouTube channel. I'll leave uh, his information in the comments below. He's coming out here and we're gonna try to uh, trap shrimp. But first, I'm gonna go ahead and throw the cast net right here on this roadside dish, this roadside drainage canal. Just dropped my sunglasses. Probably need to put those on because the glare is killing me. Gonna give me a headache. Anyway, yeah, we got some little, uh, actually little crawfish type traps and I'm gonna try and see if that'll, uh, that'll do it. But let me throw this cast net out here first. See if there even is any shrimp because I don't wanna waste time trying to trap shrimp i don't even know this shrimp you, you get what i'm saying all right i'm already down like two cast nets um so i'm hoping that this is going to be clear enough for me not to lose my cast net see this is bad this is bad right here you see this uh this crab trap you got a crab on top probably not alive you got that one still alive there's no float on it but i want to mess with it because somebody might have put it there but i don't see no bait and i don't want it to uh be ghost crabbing some crabs will die other crabs will come in there to eat them and keep on dying anyway uh oh there's the flute somebody might be coming to get that anyway uh what was i saying oh yeah already down two cast nets hopefully we don't lose this one one is muddy but uh if this thing gets hooked up i'm probably going swimming to get it you know can't afford to keep getting these uh cast nets all right so here's the hoping that we can at least get a cast the first cast without getting it hung up Oh, I didn't feel nothing on the bottom. Oh, yeah. Got a couple of them. Not very big. Oh, oh, there we go. Got the small ones falling out, but we got a decent sized one right there. And I'm seeing buku crabs. I might have to uh to throw out some crab uh, lines or something. All right, well, that's one. They got shrimp in here. All right, cast number two. Let's see if we can send her out a little bit further. current is moving through here really wish i'd have had my kayak uh oh there we go still getting a couple now as you can see this is a completely different spot than uh where i was where i've been catching my shrimp by the house this is actually the next parish oil which is the same thing as a county for you folks not in louisiana but it's the same louisiana shrimp same deliciousness got some pogey on this one got more pogey than we got uh shrimp let you guys go of course i probably should put y'all on a rod and reel throw y'all out there but come on you got it there y'all go jeez i'm more pogey i'm trying not to catch y'all now if i was trying to catch y'all i never i wouldn't get any of them all right now that we know that we have some shrimp here by the way Jared's here. But now that we know we got shrimp, it's time to bust out this little trap here. This is a crawfish trap, kind of like a minnow trap. These two ends go together. 
they can swim in this side right here. They get lost up in here and have a hard time finding their way out because every time they go, they got cars pass over here too, just like by the house. But every time they go to swim out, they're swimming right along the edge right here and they end up getting caught in this little corner right there instead of finding their way out of the hole. But the way we're gonna bait these things is a little unique to me because uh, I don't know. I might have tried it for minnows before, but never for uh, for them shrimps. We got a little can of cat food, a little wet cat food, some dry cat food. We even got this Old Roy uh, bacon cheeseburger flavor dog food. I mean, who doesn't love bacon cheeseburgers and dog food? Jared already threw this out there on a rope and it'll let that sit with a bunch of holes in it. Smells gonna get all out and hopefully it'll attract some shrimp that we can catch in the cast net. So we're trying that out. But first, we're gonna, uh, we're gonna throw some food in here. I think I'm gonna go with the dry cat food on the first one. This is actually what I use for, uh, my raccoon bait for trapping. Woo! That's a lot. So hopefully them shrimp like it too. And then where's my little string? There we go. Got a little clip right here. This clip holds it together like so. And then you just toss it out there, let it sit on the bottom. And I uh, hope they come around and find their way in there. Of course we got, oh no. That food comes out the holes. Oh, well, we'll figure it out. I'm gonna toss this one right here in front of the Jeep so we know where it's at. Oh, look at all the food just coming out of there. I don't know if that's going to work, but that's what we're here to find out. I'm going to tie this to the handle lightly so I know where it's at. Probably going to trip on it a half a dozen times, but a little can of cat food here. I think I'm going to poke a couple holes in this. It'll get the smell and the juices out without everything coming out the side. Hopefully, at least it'll stay in this. Camera's kind of not a bad angle. Be all right. Woo, got the best of pogey there, cuz. Hold on, y'all come see this. Man, what a mess I've got myself into. Well, uh, ay, ay, ay. might have to put a couple of those on a hook, see what we can get. Chaw. That crab is chowing down on that dude. Yeah, I mean, we might as well chum it up for crab. Where you going? You look like you're swimming way too good for me to let you go. You getting on this hook. Y'all know I can't help myself. I gotta throw a line out. Not here fishing. Come on, bro. Man, I love, I can't help it. It's in the blood. I ain't gonna do no good anyway. Oh, tripping over the line, like I said. Oh, look at that. They good in the Oh, they look good at in the Look at the jumbos, man. Vinny. We ain't got those at the house. Look at the jumbos, Vinny. Um, that's good enough for me a ball. And, me and Vinny got the jumbos, y'all. We catching off of them. We, we gonna the catch jumbos. some crabs to go in the ball, too, boy. And then they got the jumbos. Maybe it's that dog food doing it. Uh-huh. The big ones like the dog food. We got that dog in us. That's what it is, bro. <laughs> we got that dog in us. That shrimp catching dog. Ooh, I don't know how long we're gonna leave them traps out, but uh I gotta get in on that. Cool. Look, he got some big ones. Oh yeah, we gotta get in on this. Gotta get in on this. Now the key is not to let the excitement get to me and actually be able to throw this dang on thing. Oh yeah, that's good. That's good. Man, he must have the spot. I bet you it's the dog food because I ain't got but one. Come on. It might be, be might be hanging around that cane. But look at that though, huh? God, that's a nice shrimp there. That is a nice shrimp, cuz. Let's try throwing it closer to the bank like Jared says. Uh-oh, we got something too. What that is? We got a crab. We got a crab. <laughs> we got a crab that that's the crab that was eating on the uh pogey. He's got it in his mouth, look. <laughs> you got him in trouble, bro. Ah, oh, you done got caught, got Bubba. And we got a stick. Oh, why are you running away? He done ran back into the water. What do we got? Oh, we got a baby speckled trout. Check that out. Wait, who we got a baby bass too? <laughs> Only in South Louisiana, folks. Only in South Louisiana will you catch a speckled trout and a bass in the exact same spot. Look at that. Baby bass and a baby speckled trout with the same cast. Fresh and salt together. Fresh See? Salt together. If fish can do it, why can't we do it? Why can't we get along? Well, they don't get along. Many they eat each other. Oh yeah, that's true. You're right. <laughs> Never mind. Don't act like fish. <laughs> there we go. Got you some jumbo. Yeah, got a few of them. Got a couple of them. Oh man, that makes it so much more worth it out here. I'm gonna have to take the drive. God, look at these. Look at these shrimp. It take 20, 30 of them to make this much meat back at the house. Oh, drop the sunglasses in the bait bucket. 
Guess it could have been worse. There we go. All right, so one thing I love about throwing a cast net, same thing with a crab trap or a jug lawn, anything like that, is you just never know what you're gonna pull up. You got an idea, you know what you're targeting, but you just never know. Like we caught the bass, caught a speckled trout, caught a crab eating a pogey. He done caught a ginormous cockahoe. Uh, I don't know what you call a stump. What is that? A perch stump or something? Stump. Some kind of perch? Uh, red spotted some fish. Catch it one of them? Heck, I caught a flounder uh, before on a, right, a cast net. All right, y'all, so here's the thing. I've been throwing right here. I get one or two, sometimes none. And Jared over here is catching like a whole bundle. So the the the, the thesis is that he threw that can of dog food right there and he's throwing it on top of there. And it is indeed uh, getting them shrimp riled up and keeping them over there. So I'm about to throw a can right in front of me, see if that changes anything to test out out there. This is science, y'all. Y'all didn't know y'all was coming here to get some science. All right, here goes nothing. Yeet! Nope. <laughs> <laughs> all right let's try that again this time with feeling there we go i'll keep it kind of close see what that does give it a sec this is one cast one cast after put the dog food out and look at this there i might have found i think we discovered something look at that what was that i didn't even count five six seven eight nine ten shrimp all right i'm gonna go throw one right off the back right back in front of that can and we're gonna see what happens. Cause I have never had a cast that, oh look, look at this big one that I almost missed. I've never had a cast like that yet at this spot until we put the, the dog food out. That's insane. Put the right on top of the dog food, see what happens. Oh, I caught the dog food. Caught another bass, got a few shrimp. Oh, that was another bass. Man, it's got a lot of baby bass in here. Must have been a good spawn this year. Oh. <laughs> we caught a crab three bass and some shrimp I'm starting to think dog food might be a good bass bait all right get this can back out there y'all look at this tell me that dog food don't work Jeez, look at this look at it we're gonna count these let's count these god look at this look at oh my gosh <laughs> dude all bigs all bigs all bigs all day baby <laughs> look at that dude, dude look at us look at that shrimp vinny look at this yeah bro oh, oh let's see that's one two three four five six seven Bruh. eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty that's 20 let me make sure i didn't miss any in one cast, cast cuz 20 in one cast all bigs bro i ain't gonna catch shrimp without dog food no more no <laughs> that is insane oh i feel like i got something big in there i think i got a fish in there unless that's big shrimp bumping it but i can feel <laughs> i can feel did. some ticking in there Oh, yep, it was a... Oh, look at the shrimp! Look at the shrimp! We did get a fish, but look at them. Look at this! Look at this! Oh, we gotta hurry up and get back in there. We gotta hurry up and get back in there. Caught a pinfish. Get in here, pinfish. Get out of here. I need to start letting it go in the bucket. I'm wasting time here. Guys, these gentlemen over here were throwing a cast net and they keep getting locked up in these rocks and everything. And we over here catching so many. So we told them to come over here so they don't, one, they don't lose their cast net. Because uh, y'all know, I know that pain. I've been losing cast nets left and right lately. So we told them to come over here, get on this abundance. Because there's plenty of shrimp out there for everybody, y'all. Do not be afraid to share. Even if it means giving up some of yours, man, help people out. That's what this is all about, man. We all in this together crazy i can feel them in the net when i throw it i can feel them ticking around in that net look at this look at this look at this throw after throw jumbo after jumbo dude this is an unreal man this is unreal look at these shrimp i mean what's just look at it just look at it come here where y'all going 
Where y'all going? All right, I think what we're gonna have to do is forget this live well thing. We have to throw these in the cooler and open that bucket up so we're not wasting so much time picking these off the ground while they're running like this. So let me do that real quick. Let the shrimp build up by the dog food can. Look at the size of these shrimp, y'all. Look at that. Oh yeah, all right, let me get back there. All right, y'all, we done caught a mess of shrimp with the cast net. Now it's time to go check them traps. See if that did any good. Then uh, that dog food seemed to do good with the cast net. So we got cat food. I got uh, wet cat food in one, dry cat food in the other. We're gonna let Jared, Mr. Outside the Levees himself, on YouTube, y'all check him out. He's gonna go ahead and pull that first trap. Our right. partner's over here got some shrimp. Look at that. Ooh, yeah. Man, if this has got shrimp in it. Feels a little heavier. The anticipation is killing me. Fighting the current. Yo, got crabs. <laughs> no shrimp. Just a crab, no shrimp. All right, Benny's gonna go check the other two traps. Let's see. I think this one's the dry cat food that uh most of it fell out when I threw it. So oh, okay. Don't have much hope with this one. Cool, look at it, it's still in there though. Not a, it's a much better thing. bait. Oh, yeah. no, no shrimp. shrimp. A we got shrimp. a shrimp. <laughs> 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 it caught a shrimp. All right, that's one. Let's set that right there. Let's see if the other one got anything. Jeez, and how far did I put it out there? That current's rolling, man. And no. So the dry works better. If you're looking to catch one shrimp, <laughs> one shrimp, you use dry dog one. food in your minnow trap. You just want a little snacky snack. You know the sad thing, Vinny? We didn't even catch any minnows. <laughs> 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 one shrimp, one crab. I caught crab. more minnows with the cast net. <laughs> <laughs> well, scratch that off the list, I guess. Right. We're going to stick with the cast net. All right, in the spirit of trying new things, Jared had one of these bad boys made. This is a big old dip net. I don't even know. How wide is this thing? Uh, 32 inches. 32 inch dip net. We're going to put it to the top. I don't know why I'm doing this to myself since the cast net's working so perfectly, but... That's made for where it's got like a pipe coming out. Yeah, you can just put it. Just, just stick it in front of the pipe, huh? Yeah, you, that's not made to get that and put it on the bottom and squeeze it all up. Well, I'm a, I'm a couillon. I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna touch the bottom with it. <laughs> I'm not gonna touch the bottom with it, but I gotta play with it. Well, you don't touch the bottom, you're not gonna catch the trip. Huh? Yeah. You got you're it. right. You're right. See, this is why you pay attention to folks who know. Because people like me, just a crazy coon ass down on the bay, I'm going to try all kind of stuff and fail a hundred times. When all you got to do is ask the older folks who've been doing it all their life. And you ain't got to waste so much time. Yeah, see, that's two scoops with not a shrimp. So I'm done trying. The man then told me it ain't going to work. I see it ain't going to work. And the cast net was working just fine. All right, we've been out here, what, two hours, two and a half hours? Yeah, so about that. And guess what, guys? Still catching. Look at that. Got to get that crab out of there without him pinching me. Nope, nope, get, come, nope. Mm, all right, we'll wait a second. But look, these things are even jumping out of the bucket. They're so big when they leap, they just pop right out of there. But we're still catching. they still running. And I'm going to be eating ball. That was a nice cast. Oh, I can feel them. I can feel them. They, these shrimp are so big and so many. I mean, you feel them. It feels like there's a fish in the net like fluttering. Ticking. Yeah. They're definitely ticking. Boy, I can feel them in the rope. Watch this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at that cast. Look at that cast. Holy moly. Look, got the dog food and at least a dozen shrimp. Look at him. Look how big that dude is. Ooh, my wife might even let me sleep in the bed tonight bringing all this food home. She might kick the dog out of the bed and let me sleep in it. That's better than flowers on the bayou, cuz. All right, folks, well, we're back at the house. It's actually a couple days later. We could have stayed and caught as many shrimp as we want, I'm pretty sure. But we ended up going to another spot. Try something out. We ended up catching a lot more than just shrimp. But that's going to be a different video. Make sure you stay tuned for that one, right? So we went ahead and I cleaned all the shrimp. Well, I peeled most of them. The rest of them I just deheaded so I can stick in the freezer because we got a lot more than we're going to need for this meal. I tell you what. Today, we're going to make some shrimp kebabs. Come on over here and look. All right, y'all. So the first thing I want to do is make a little marinade for my shrimp and my vegetables. So we're going to go ahead and stick some of these vegetables up in here. Sprinkle them onions. Bust them up a little bit. Toss me my bell peppers. I'm not gonna put my pineapple in there just yet. I'm gonna put that on there after. It don't need to be in the marinade, but I am gonna pour a little bit of this here pineapple juice that came with the pineapple up in there. Take some of that olive oil. Soy sauce. Some delicious 
Louisiana honey. Salt and pepper to taste. Give it some time. And of course, gotta have that garlic. We're gonna finish that marinade up with a little fresh parsley cut right there on top. These scissors are absolutely magnificent. Look at that. I'm gonna go ahead and get my hands dirty with this one. Just gonna stir it all up. It's all mixed up nice and good like. Might need some more shrimp stone in there. Woo, that marinade smells so good, I could eat it just like that. Probably not a good idea though. Probably not ill-advised. All right, now I'm gonna stab that in the refrigerator for about an hour, at least an hour, because you wanna let that marinade sit in there, soak up all the juices and your bell peppers, your onion, and them shrimps. You know what I mean? All right, y'all, that's been at least an hour, if not more, maybe even two. We got our marinade sitting there. It ought to be soaked up all them juices and got that flavor all up in them shrimp and veggies. So now we got to stab them with these sticks right here. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a vegetable, stab it right through all the way to the tip. And I'm gonna take another vegetable. I'm gonna stick that in there like that. Then I'm gonna take a shrimp. I'm gonna stab him right through the, like that. Then maybe I'm gonna take a piece of onion and then I'm gonna stab him like that. Fine apple, I'm gonna stab him like that and then I'm just gonna keep repeating. I'm gonna put a little onion. Ain't no method to the madness. I'm just stabbing and, and sliding them down. And we're gonna repeat until that's done. I'll get back with you. This is what they look like. Oh, that's hot. Yee! Turn that down a little bit. She's on fire. Ooh, turn down. No, turn it down, not up. There we go. Woo, might not have enough room for all these bad boys. Look at that. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Get up in there. Mm, mm, mm. All right, I already flipped them once. Woo, and there they go. Go ahead and turn that fire off. I don't wanna leave them on there too long. We don't want them drying out. Oh no, man down, man down. We're losing shrimp. Oh no. Can't be doing that. They falling off, man. It's all right, we're gonna save them. We're gonna save them, come here. Come here, no! Oh, no. Probably should have greased up the grill first. All right, y'all, here we go. The final taste test. I'm gonna go ahead and scrape it right off of the skewer like that. Mm -hmm. Surgical precision. Go ahead and take a couple bites. I'm gonna save that shrimp for last. Go with that little pineapple. Mmm. Tastes like a pineapple. A red pepper. Tastes like a red pepper. Yellow pepper. Could have cooked a little longer on the yellow pepper, but that's all right. Onion, always tastes good. Eat that like an apple. All right, here we go. With the shrimps. We'll put the two shrimps at a time in the mouth. I'm right, gonna start off by saying nobody's perfect and we really shouldn't judge anybody. Um, I think I did something wrong with the shrimp. A little mushy. I mean, it's cooked, but um, yeah, I don't know. That, uh, be honest with you guys, that shrimp, mm -mm, not so good. I don't know what I did wrong. If you guys know what I did wrong or you know a better way to do it, let me know in the comments because that, uh, that wasn't it. Bad idea, bro. Son of a biscuit. Hold on, Vinny. Hold on. Hi, Mickey Bone Gang. Vinny here. Don't worry. There is nothing wrong with your internet. I just uh, accidentally filmed this intro in slow-mo on my camera, which means the audio is not existent. So whatever I said, though profound and enlightening on many different levels, is now lost to the past. But there's no sense in getting all fashy. I'm going to go ahead and give you a rundown of what's happening. Me and my buddy Jared from Outside the Levees on YouTube stopped on side the road at this what I can best describe as a little ditch or a little trenos that's connected to the main bayou by three culverts. So we stopped over and used his ginormous uh, dip nets that you can see there. And uh, we're trying to scoop up some shrimp and uh, ran into a bunch of grabs. And well, this this how it went. All right, when we first got here to check it out, to try it out, I, I stuck it right in front of that culvert over there and managed to catch me one. But obviously we want more than one. I'm gonna try it again. There's three culverts. Who knows, one might be better than the other one. This water is definitely moving through here pretty quick. He's gonna say, yeah, you take that one, I'll take this one. Cool, that water's moving through there. Rolling, cuz. Jeez. 
monkeys. It's hard to hold this net up. I don't see shrimp jumping is what I don't mm -hmm. like, you know? Right. Oop, I see stuff jumping back up in there. Let's see if that did anything. And no. Jelly. She kept the jelly doing that. I don't know about you, but I ain't spreading that jelly on a piece of toast. Uh, take a little walk, take a little look, see. We got a little trail going right here. I don't know if that's a people trail or a raccoon trail. I don't know. But it's getting, uh, I'm already up to my knees. Yeah, up to my knees. Still falling, still getting deeper. All right, let's just see. See what we can do. And nothing. Oh, and a shrimp. Oh, I got a shrimp. You got a shrimp. Got a shrimp. I got a crab and a shrimp, boy. Oh, this is a workout. I know, isn't it? Uh, oh, got a crab. You got a crab, too? Nice crab. Oh, boy, we got crab. It's a crab and Dave, isn't it? She crab might be dip netting for crabs. They skinny, but they big. They skinny, yeah. Ooh, he grabbed onto the thing. Thank you, gummit. All right, let go, let go, let go, let go. All right, I guess we're doing crabs in the dip nets, huh, Ben? Yeah. You'll see them walking the banks. Got a few. Got a... You'll see them walking the banks. Got two shrimp. Sure does feel good to be up in this water. <laughs> Gotta use the whole body like that. Uh, uh, trying to keep it. You know, Jim was doing this. No. That's a full body workout. Got the biceps, the triceps, the glutes. <laughs> and no. Little baby shrimp. Oh, I see shrimp jumping. They jump and try to get away from the net. Okay, oh. it's working now. You gotta get down to the bottom. Oh yeah, well I'm coming. That's yep. a that look. That looks a whole lot easier than what I'm doing. All right, let's see. Longer net, you wouldn't have to dump as often. All right, so yeah, look, go hold right in front on the bottom. You don't even have to cover it. You just get off of it, you know. Yeah. Six to eight inches off the cover. Go to the bottom and then just hold it there. And that's what's working right now. Woo. <laughs> <laughs> God, I feel my net. Look, my net's doing this. Uh-huh. <laughs> that is pulling, man. Jeez. But that's when you gotta catch it when that current's running. Yeah, when they can't get away. Right, see, that hadn't even been a full minute. Oh, yeah, you got three, at least hey, that's four. Nice shrimp, son. And they're getting big again. That's nice shrimp. You gotta get to the bottom and just hold it. You're touching bottom? I got one, yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's All a nice right, shrimp. Getting shrimps, y'all. That's a nice shrimp. Shrimps. Ooh, basket. Yeah. What is this? What is this number here? There we go. I kind of wish I had a tube, right? Go tubing down here. Ain't no telling where you're gonna end up, though. I would say this beast throwing a cast net, but it's just as much uh, muscle right. power. Oh, come here. All right, let's see. Let's see what we got. Here, you taking? Got a couple. Not you as much it? as uh, I think that middle culvert's got, got it going on. You may yeah, let's try it. On I'm gonna try it. Let's go try that one. I'm gonna go back around. Catch this one from the side. Look at him jumping, running. Yeah, there's another one. Trying new things, learning new things. Oop, oop, I'm feeling something hitting on. Huh? Something hitting. Yep. You got some action in your net. I don't know what that was. But I felt the dedupe. You felt the dedupe. Dedupe. I guess we'll toss this. I mean, it's going to be tough with that current. It's kind of back flowing right here. We'll toss it right here, see what happens. See if they can find it. Yeah, there you go. It's flowing. It's flowing. I don't know if they're going to smell that, but it ain't, uh, it don't want to fall in the middle. Throw it right here and see. Hmm. See where it flows, see where it goes. Wash this salmonella off my hands. Yeah, look, now it's flowing backwards. I don't let it go that way. It's gonna leave the whole spool right there. Let's see what happens. Before we tie too many, we'll see if that works. All right, while that's working, I'm gonna go do some scooping. No scooping, the scooping is pooping. The pooping on the scooping. And I'm really curious to see what's up in this trail, but uh, man, how far that goes? Hold on, we're gonna explore for a second. I see a trail right here. Uh -oh. What we got? Oh, look, it comes out right here. It's kind of like a little trail. It got two or three spots you can come out at. Oh, not a trail. It's a crab line right here. Oh, we're going to slip and fall. I hope I don't fall because if I fall, I'm going to lose this GoPro because I don't think I got the uh, waterproof door on it. What is this? What is this? It's a log. I got a log on this thing. I wonder if you can wade out, fall, how far you can wade out in here. Hold on, hold on. Come here. Come here. I'm going to hold on to you. You don't let me fall. I just want to see how deep it is. Oh, no, that ain't good. Oh, no, that ain't good. Oh, no, that's too deep. 
that's too deep that's too deep thank you that bush you saved my life you saved my life thank you that oh oh i got rocks in my shoes that ain't good look at all the string y'all people look pick up your trash cuz jeez them i mean i'm sure a lot of this trash is probably from uh hurricanes and floods and stuff pushing up in here but if y'all wouldn't have threw it out in the first place probably wouldn't have had that mission man look at look at that look at man they got people living back up in here well, all right let's go let's keep on looking let's keep on looking oh they got one of these whatever that is that just scared something off or is that just me scaring myself man how far this goes back this might be it right here nope it still keeps going jeez them oh man look at that that's a good that's a good rig right there cuz that goes way back up in there but uh i don't i don't like to walk that far so i didn't go all the way but i did find this oh, you got nice. Your core. nice little yeah. rig let's pull this line and see what's happening yeah. anybody home oh he's on there cuz yeah he's on there. i feel him oh, my unless it's buried on a rock but that feels like a crab to me oh no that's definitely a crab look at him look at him Oh, there's one sitting on that pole right there too. Oh, he just let go. Let's see. Oh, he let go. Nope, he's still on there. He's nice. He's nice. Oh, oh. oh. Gotta get it up a little bit yeah. for me. Let me see if I get that one on that pole. You get pole crab. Come on, pole ah. crab. You know what? We had to double team him with the net. Boy, they got some crabs oh, up in crab here. Right here. Look at that. Got him, bud. Dude. Got him, bud. Oh, I gotta get these rocks out my shoe. Ooh, just dumped the water right on me. That's better. Look. Oh, no, I see this lawn doing things. I don't know which way it is. Could just be the current. Oh, gotcha. Cool. What? He is glued to the bottom. Oh, look at this. Dude, no. <laughs> nice. what happened? Dude, I had the net resting on it. He started fighting with the with the, the rim. <laughs> he was, All right. he well, called himself. He caught himself. Wait, did that have anything to do with the bait? No, no. <laughs> I'm sitting there pulling the line. I looked over at the net, and he's over there fighting with the ring. See, guys, violence gets you nowhere. And scoop. Oh, you seen the shrimp over there? No. Got one, two, one. one. No, nope, two. Got two. Two shrimps. All right, this spot seems to not have any hangups on here, so we're gonna go ahead and try and throw this cast net and uh, see what we can get. Swing. Not the best throw, but you know, I throw none nonetheless. Hey, what we got? What we got? Oh, we got ourselves a shrimp. Oh, we got a few shrimps. Oh, I tell you what, it's fun to try new things, but sometimes the old way just works. I don't know why I'm dumping these shrimp in here. I should be dumping them in the basket, but it was right here. So. Oh, one got away. Ah, he caught up on my finger, but that's okay. That's okay. And one, two. Two? I caught a couple right there, right in the first. That was the first cast right there. Three, four of them. Let's see if we can't sling this one way over there. There we go. That's where I wanted it. They got shrimp, cuz, and a crab. Look at the shrimp, dude. Look at the shrimp, dude. Oh, my boy. Look at the shrimp, dude. Cool. I'm finding another hot spot. All right, we back to the shrimping video. Yep, we got the. All the seafood, man. I want to try this big giant crab net. Here. Oh, no, huh? That's a crab that net there, man, cuz. Man. That one will weed out the small ones for you, too, with them big old holes in there. Here's my normal size net. <laughs> That's the bottom ring. A little, little bit of difference. Look at the difference. Sure. There's no way they're getting out of that. Yeah, so that's what we got mostly. Most of this is just from the dip nets. So I started throwing the cast net, and of course we're catching more shrimp with the cast net. He's about to put out this monster right here. I like this. I ain't never seen this before, this little cage. It's like a little crawfish trap thingamabob. You just throw the bait in there, you ain't got to worry about running off with it. Ain't got to tie it. I like that. I'm going to have to make me one of them. But in the meantime, we're going to throw this cast net and catch some more shrimps. Like that. Every cast is a cocktail. Ooh, we're getting some drizzles. Good. That, that cloud's leaking. There they are. Got shrimp falling off the Dude, side of the net, in net. the net. I know. That's a lot of shrimp. A shrimp and a little perch. And he got a lot of shrimp. All right. Let's Let's get see. that perch out of there. Hey, bro, you should reach your hand in there and grab that, that pinfish. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Oh, this is sucks. I think I got it. I think I got it. Yeah. Yes. All right. Oh, we got a big fish. Not a big mullet. Huge shrimp. And a mullet, bro. And a mullet, bro. Shrimp. Now you got to reach in there and get that mullet. Shrimp and crab bait. <laughs> Y'all feast on. Yeah, right. <laughs> We've got to fatten up our crabs. <laughs> That's we, right. Yeah, They're too skinny. Y'all y'all right. get some grub. All right, let me weigh it on out to my net. A big giant net. Pull it up fast. Oh, Whoa! We got, got four of them. What are they weeding themselves we got out? Crabs. Wow. You, you had crabs. Really want you to catch big crabs. <laughs> <in there, huh? laughs> Number ones only. Right? <laughs> all right. Well, I know if I want to keep any uh, little small ones, I got to just dump them right away. I showed y'all the three culverts that we were working on over here. The current's flowing this away down this little trinos, whatever that, I don't even know where that goes. He don't even know where that goes. We walked down the trail to find out, but uh, I wasn't going that far. But then right across the road, this here is what's draining into that. This here is the main bayou. Uh, big old bayou right here. And then uh, you probably don't want to get caught falling down in that because that's where the culverts are coming from probably get sucked through a tube that's a little too small for you you know what i'm saying but anyway uh you can see people fish right here on the side of the road leaving their trash leaving their nets broken chair i just don't understand people i swear anyway this is look at that look at that shoe it's going down a whirlpool that's what you don't want to get caught in trying to uh do some shenanigans right here look at that i'm gonna go ahead and take a dip right here uh not my body but the net see what we can do i don't want to drag i don't want to mess up my boy's net anything and nothing ain't nothing really on this side we're gonna head back to the other side see what we got going on hopefully we don't get hit by a car uh-oh uh-oh uh -uh. he might be a little fatter too oh i knocked over somebody's beer sorry about that y'all see if i can't get bit by a snake so jared just for future reference and just in case how are you with the idea of sucking venom out of someone who's been bitten by a snake i mean i ain't gonna let you die bro <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate it. <laughs> That's the best answer ever. Uh oh. Oh, bro. This might be a spot to dip. I just dip. I like dip for two seconds and caught three. I gotta get my bucket. Like a man, I had four shrimp in my bucket. Knocked it over. I still, I got him though. I got him. Might have just been a lucky scoop for the first one. No. All right, we're going back to the cast net and release. Oh yeah, that's gonna be a shrimp. That might even be a half a dozen. Oh, a little mess of them. Oh no, they're falling out the sides. Sure, that's what I'm talking about. Get that big one. Oh, that shrimp. Wait, he got get one. Oh, one. almost lost him. Don't forget that big one. Man, that shrimp and grits, some shrimp fried rice. That's some shrimp jambalaya. Shrimp Creole, shrimp gumbo, and money. All right, y'all, Jared, giving me the honors of pulling up this oh, beefy bro. crab net. It's big now. All right, you know. let me get ready so we go straight for the basket, straight for the basket. Pick He's up in the his net. Crab and stance. Look at him, boy. Look at his crab and stance. That's why you got to grab the net, bring it to the basket. Grab the net, bring it to the basket. There you go, you ready? Mm hmm. Don't let me get in your Ooh. way. Don't let me get in your way three every time, oh. bro. That's all right, I didn't want that little one. That's all right. I wanted these two. Three yeah. every time, Get in there. Yeah, that's what I'm screaming. Man, I like these nets. They got a crab on that pipe. Well, let's go get him. Go get him. Get you a dip net. Oh, there he is. Right here. Falling I on see the him. Bottom. I see him. I, see him. I don't think that's the same one, but see you get him in there. There you go, bro. What? You got a hole in his net. Seagulls get mobbed deep up in here. Hey, y'all stay away from my shrimp. <laughs> that's ridiculous look at this shrimp look at that and nice size too not bad god look at that y'all look at that bounty you got, bro. Still, getting, still getting the shrimp. Well, we just man. adding stuff left and right still huh? getting some shrimps right. look at that boy what? i mean you, you, your shrimp are covered up in crabs all right this will be first time checking this net in the new spot it is Whoa! It's deep. It's deep. Oh, there it goes. I'm still going. Alright. Alright, we're good. Come on up. Nothing. Nothing. Not a crab. 
Well, I'm catching a crab every cast now. Look at that brown shrimp. Oh, no, I got two of them. Come on, drop it. Drop it. All right, Jared's having too much fun with his dip net, so. It is too much fun. I'm it's grabbing good. this one, and we're going to go give it a try, too. With that scooping crabs. Uh-oh. I'm up. You mind if I pull this one? Yeah, it's about ready. All right, let's pull this real quick. Right. See what we can get out of this one. Ooh, let me grab that basket. What's up, crabbies? Yeah, let me give you all a dip. Get in quick now. They don't like to wait long. They don't like to wait long. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. Oop, oop. Man, I got them over the basket. Right. I'm still losing them. Now, what worked early, I just went right. Look, like, look, check this out, man. Right between them? Yeah, like that. Huh? Like that, man. Huh? Like that. Do that between. I'll be a Do suck between, egg mule. Huh? Let's try that. Get you a between. You gotta go quick now. What I told you. Look at you. that. <laughs> what I told you about that between, man. Oh, that's crazy. Look what at I that. I told you. I'll save this perch so you don't Dude, get... we got <laughs> like 30 pounds of seafood in this basket right now. The only bad thing about these nets, man, them crabs really don't want to let go. Ow, 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 oh, ow. <laughs> let go. Let go, buddy. Manny. It's okay, buddy. Ay, ay, ay. idea, bro. Son of a biscuit. Hold on, man. Hold on. Let me get... Boy, he's got just a little bit of skin, too. Let me grab him by you. Well, Vinny did it, y'all. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at that. Look at the skin. Oh, that's, oh. I always wanted a piercing right it's there. Making me want to cry. Um, Any uh special uh, tactics on how to get him to let go? Other than I breaking mean, that claw? Break his claw off so you don't freaking have to go to the hospital. Right, you hold on to that. Let me get the rest of you out. And don't bite me with the other one. That would suck. Just come hang out here on crab. Right, there we go. <sighs> All right. Yeah. Whew. There we go. That feels better. Look at that little piercing. Oh, got one. Got him. And a shrimp. All right, let's see if this thing really got the gree gree on it or what. Oh, oh, we got one. Got one. Oh, if I can get him in the thing. Little female. Oh, nope, I'm going to let that one go. I don't have the pyramid on her. She's a virgin crab. Let her make some babies before she gets eaten. Oh, I got a pyramid too. Let them reproduce before I take them out of circulation. And then gave the shrimp a little break. Let's see if we uh they still running. Oh, that was quite terrible. Caught a perch. Caught a perch. No, oh, I got a couple of them. Come on, get out of there, shrimp. Get out of there, shrimp. There we go. Got some more, and we got a crab. Whoo! Look at the size of that boy. Look at this crab. Look at that crab. You got a crab. It's a nice crab, man. Nice Big old male. He's cast that and crabs and shrimp. I just scooped the crab and the shrimp. Only challenge is getting them out the net. That's about it. Look at that big boy, huh? Biggest one on the day, huh? Yeah. There he is. Come on. Look at that. All right, y'all. Since we caught both a mess of crabs and a mess of shrimp, we're going to go ahead and cook both of them for the same dish. So I got the crabs boiling right there, if you can't tell. I got a little bit of crab ball seasoning, not a whole lot, because that's not what the flavor we're looking for even though that is a magnificent flavor. Now, if y'all was with me for that last time when we cooked the shrimp and grits, this is gonna be pretty similar to that, except this time, we're putting it on a potato and we're gonna have some crabs in it. But we're starting off the same way with the bacon, only this time I got good bacon, decent bacon, and not that uh, mesh fat that I got the last time because I skimped on the money. So, uh, let's throw that in the pan. So I'm gonna cut that bacon open. I'm sure y'all know how to do that. Oh yeah, look at that. They actually got meat in this bacon. Throw that in the pan like that. Probably help if I turn on the fire. Where is it? There they are. Put about uh, six, seven pieces of bacon, whatever this pan can take. I'm gonna fill it up. I like the bacon. Who doesn't like the bacon? Cause not only do we need the bacon for the dish, we need that grease to cook the shrimp. Oh my Lord. We're about to ball over with these crabs right there. Slow that down a little bit. One, two, three, four, five, six. I think we can slap another one in there. We might be able to fit it. Oh yeah, that'll work. Flip the bacon. Take the bacon out. Woo, it's popping. All right, then took the bacon out, actually. Chopped it all up. It's in the seasoning dish. Now it's time to put the shrimp in the grease. So we're gonna go ahead and drop these shrimp in here. Then we're gonna add a little seasoning. I'm gonna put that trinity in there. A little salt. A little black pepper. And a little bit of that cayenne. 
and then we're gonna stir that up till it turns pink. Now that all our shrimp are nice and pink, we're gonna put in the rest of our goodness. That's some bacon, that crab meat, some green onions, some fresh parsley, and the garlic going in. Woo, look at that. And we're gonna stir that up, get it all nice and mixed up, and we're gonna let that just simmer for about a minute or two. And she ready to go. Oh yeah. Mm. Oh, don't you run away. Get back in that pan. All right, now I done took the shrimp off of simmer. I got my butter. I'm going to slap it on my little potato right here. Now, this is just a regular old baked potato. You can bake it in the oven or you can bake it in the microwave. I did it in the microwave because it's too daggum hot to kick off that uh that oven in this heat. Now, I'm going to let my butter melt. I got to find my spoon. We're going to take a scoop of this here. Fantastic seafood delight. We're going to pour that right there on top of that potato. That's going to help melt that butter. Get that seasoning. Might even get a little extra juice. A little bit of that extra juice in there. A little, little crab claw on top. Top it off with some sharp cheddar. I don't know why they call it that. I ain't never got cut by it. And then, to finish that off, that sour cream. Let's see what we got, champ. Get a little potato. Get a little shrimp. Mmm. Mouth water it already. A little sharp cheddar and some sour cream. Mmm. Ça, c'est bon. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. Man, that's delicious. Ain't nothing like fresh seafood from water to table. But thank you guys so much for watching. That's gonna wrap this one up. Thank you again. Again, so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. What in the wild world of sports is going on here? I hope they didn't catch them shrimp right here in the bayou and just left it there. Hi, Making Bone Gang. Vinny here down in southeast Louisiana. Now the shrimp are still running. And uh, I kind of had an idea. Cause, like I've been just catching shrimp right here by this little bridge by my house. And then went over a couple parishes over with Jared. We were catching shrimp over there. But I want to see just how many places today we can catch some shrimp in my area because uh i mean if they're right here in this little canal that's running off the main bayou they gotta be in the main bayou right so that's what i'm gonna do we're gonna start right here in the usual place make sure we can get some shrimp make sure they're out yeah and then uh we might hit a couple of other spots just to see if we can find them out there and maybe they get bigger smaller less more a little experiment you know one thing for sure the louisiana state bird is out in full force today them daggum mosquitoes is chewing me up. All right, here we go. First toss of the morning. Let's see what we got. Oh, terrific. A little bit of everything, y'all. A little bit of everything on that first cast. We got a couple shrimp. See that little shrimp right there? Then we got some pogey. Or shad, I'm not sure what the difference, and I mean, I know the difference, but I'm not sure how to tell the difference necessarily. And then we got that daggum infamous catfish that likes to get caught up in my net. <sighs> so let me get that out of there. And that's why I hate them little daggum catfish. Oh, I'll tell you what. Got a lot of fish swimming in the water. You know, tell them what we're gonna come up with. It was heavy. It was just my imagination. One shrimp. One measly little shrimp. Came here yesterday evening to see if there was some shrimp. And there was a lot of shrimp and a lot of big shrimp. But uh, I guess they knew we were pulling the camera out. And they get a little camera shot from time to time. All right, so since this happened to work the last time, or at least it seemed to work the last time when I was out there with Jared, uh, we're gonna throw some dog food down there on the bottom. And a lot of y'all said that y'all used to do that and it worked. So I'm trying to take this paper off so I don't litter. Stick that in my pocket. Don't need no more trash on the bar here. And I'm gonna stab a few holes like that. All the way around, this is New York strip flavor. See if these shrimp got some fancy taste. All right. Oh no, all our juices is falling out. All right, hold on, can, hold on, can. I'm gonna use this rope. This rope is from a cast net that we lost, which by the way is a good chance we'll lose another one today because we're going to some spots I ain't never true before. Come on now. All right. Out. Oh, I'll put my hand right in the juice. That's terrific. Absolutely terrific. All right, let the can hit the bottom. Uh-oh. I need to tie this to something. Hmm. 
Mm, mm, mm. I think I tossed it out a little too soon. Let's see. Can we stick it right here? Is it gonna go nowhere? Yeah, you sit right there for a second until I figure something out. This looks good. Mm-hmm. There we go. That ought to keep it there for a little while. All right, that can, I can see the rope right there. So it's probably like right there. We're gonna throw it just in front of that because the tide seems to be moving that way. So hopefully it'll be pushing the juices that way. And that's where the shrimp are gonna, gonna congregate in theory. I tell you what, every time I throw it, it must be mullet or something running. But they're everywhere. What we got? Got a couple of uh, fish in here. What that is? Got a little baby croaker. Got a little baby perch. A little red ear sunfish, looks like. Okay. Oh, and a shrimp. That's a tiny shrimp. All right, we throwing all of them back. Oh, no, that's a decent shrimp. He ain't going back. There goes the perch. All right, Mr. Croaker. Even though you're really good bait, I'm not fishing, so you go grow some more. This little guy going back. Come here, shrimp. You need to grow for sure, too. You, though. You're going to be in my belly. Oh, look at that shrimp. I missed that one. Must have got more than two. Mmm. 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 Two. Better size, though. I like this guy. This guy's nice. He's nice. Oh yeah, a couple like that, we can make a sandwich. Ooh, looks like the shrimp a little bit further to the left. Look at this. There we go. There we go. Got to mess up them now, buddy. Look, they falling out the net. That's a little bit better. Here, let me dump them on the ground so we can see what we got. Look at that. That's one cast there, cuz that's what I'm talking about. Not giant, but that's some good uh some good jambalaya size shrimp right there. Maybe some fried rice. Maybe some 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 shrimp fettuccine. I take it. I'm gonna take it. Alright, we're gonna try and toss it right back in that same spot. See if they're all just hanging out there or whatnot. Uh-oh. Ooh! There's something down there that was trying to grab onto it. Oh, that's why I got big old fish in there. A lot of shrimp, though. A lot more shrimp, though. Look at that. Dude, and they big, too. Look at these. That's some nice shrimp there, buddy. That's what we're looking for. They over there in that corner right there. Hold on, Mr. Mullet. I'm going to get you out. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's way better. Way better. Way better. Calm down. Calm down. Get out of here. Woo. I'm hung up. All right. See, the problem with experimenting is, hold on, let these calls pass. So the problem with experimenting is, uh, now we found the shrimp, I don't want to leave. But I got to, because that's the whole point of this. All right, same spot, same spot. Where's our dog food? It's still there. I wonder why they're right there, not right here. What, what's the what's the difference? Yep, got some more, some more decent ones. Not as many though, but they're in there. They're in there. Let's see if we can get them in the bucket without having to chase them all around the the bridge. Yeah, that was easier. That was way easier. You can go back. Man, stop jumping out the bucket. Oh, there we go. Got a few. They're getting bigger. All right, let's give her a toss right on a dog food can, see what happens. See if they've congregated. Where we at? Right there? Let's swing right along. Oh, there we go. That ought to be right on it. Oop. Just felt something hit my leg. It was a daggone shrimp trying to get away. Come here, boy. All right, let's see what we got. Yeah, don't look like the dog food doing much today. That's just two. Cool. 
Whoa! Man, kind of wish I was fishing, huh? That's some big ones in this one. <laughs> yeah. That's some burling size right there. Look at these two. Look at this big mammoth. Come here. Come here. I'm trying to show the people. Look at that boy right there. Wish they was all like that. Come here, little crab. Get out of here. Come here. Come here. Ow, ow. Even the little ones hurt. Jeez them. Yeah, look, there's another good one right there. Look at that. Take that, boy. All right, y'all, so this got me wondering. Hold on, my net's cold on my pants. All right, so this got me wondering. Uh, I'm catching all the shrimp right here in this little pocket right here. Not so much over there, not even on the dog food. So, got me kind of wondering if they got shrimp in this little spot, but not this spot. We might end up traveling all over the feet and uh, not catching shrimp anywhere else. So, it's kind of got me worried. So, I'm gonna make a few more casts right here just to make sure I got enough for, for lunch. And then, uh, we'll go try another spot. Just think about that. I can't hear it. It's a camera. So, you said something. I didn't hear it. All right, so the spot I wanted to go to went over there. And apparently, they're building a flood wall over there. Very similar to this one. And, uh, you couldn't get to it. So, I'm out here at the next spot. Right here. So, before we go and just start throwing the cast net all willy-nilly. I'm going to get a little bonus magnet fishing in. Just to see if they got any snags down there. Try not to get hung up on them, you know? Oh, yep, there's a rock. Feels like it might just be rocks, though. Hmm, I don't know, that feels very hangy. Nope, we found something piece of wire but i think we'll be safe to throw it right there let's go try over here a little bit mm, i don't know man it's pretty sketchy there's definitely a lot of metal down there oh yeah look we hung up god dang it now i'm gonna lose my magnet nope there we go okay we'll throw the cast net one time behind that boat and then we're moving on because uh i don't want to lose nothing all right here goes nothing Oh, this makes me nervous, yeah. Because I don't want to go back to the store and have to spend $30, $40 on another cast net today. I don't feel no snags right there. Just got to pull it up quick when it gets close to the bank. Well, that don't look good. No. So the first two spots didn't work out. One, because I couldn't get to it. The other one, there wasn't no daggum shrimp. And uh, the other spot at that spot... Had a lot of hang-ups. But I called my boy Tofield Bourgeois and he let me come over here at Bourgeois Fishing Charters. Look at that place, huh? Check that out. And you can stay there. I'm gonna put the link in the description below. Y'all check that out if you want a true bayou adventure. But got this nice dock right here, got all these boats, but I'm gonna go right out there. They got a little green platform. And we're gonna test that out to see if we can't find some shrimp. First, I'm gonna throw the magnet again, because we're trying not to lose another cast net. We'll throw that magnet first, and then we're gonna throw that cast net and see what they got. Oh man, yeah, look at that, cousin. I like this. Check that out. That's what I'm talking about. See if we can take a step on this thing. Woo -hoo 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 -hoo, look at that. I like this. Gotta get me one of these. Let's toss this out here and see if there's any. Whoa! I like to throw my leg off. It's surprisingly not very deep. Don't feel like there's nothing down there but mud. Oh yeah, I think we're good to go. Yeah, ain't nothing but mud. All right, let's go get that cast net. All right, there's two things I'm noticing. One good, one not so good. The not so good is I don't see really any current. Well, yeah, those lilies are moving a little bit, so the water is kind of flowing that way. But the good thing is you see all them birds right there? They probably eating on some shrimp. At least that's what I hope, I hope they doing. Hopefully we got some shrimp around here. Yeah. Man, I really like this little dock. Let's try to see what happens. Well, if you throw it better than that, you might get something cut. Yeah, see, it's already on the bottom right there. There's no, really no depth right there. Oh, ho, 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 ho. <laughs> but we got a nice shrimp on the first cast. That's a good sign, y'all. That is a good sign, y'all. Look at that. Bad cast, but we got a shrimp. That means they in the main by you. Get some water here in this bucket. Tell you what, this is a lot easier than throwing from that bridge. 
Hey, we got all kind of stuff in this thing. Look at this. What we got here? Ooh, we got some shrimp. Check that out. We got some baby speckle trouts. There you go, buddy. Get back in there. I don't want to uh, we'll leave y'all out the water too bad. Too long. Man, we got a stick. That stick out there. There we go, though. We got some shrimp. We got some shrimp. They're not exactly filling up the net, but we found some shrimp. That's two places now we know they got shrimp. One in the main bayou and one in the little canal off the bayou. And let's toss it off the side over here. See, we got a different, different uh, something. You know what I'm trying to say. What am I trying to say? See, we got better luck in a different spot. That's that's what I'm trying to say. Well, that's really shallow right there. And no. Let's try it to the left. Oh, yeah. That seemed to work at the bridge, so let's throw it to the left over here. Ooh, there we go. Got a few more. Let's see what we got in that cast. Ooh, got the big one still stuck in the net. Come on out. Come on out. Tell you what, we're not catching quite as many, but more of these are nice size. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven shrimps. I mean, that's enough for a breakfast taco right there. Let me look at that. That's not bad shrimp. That's not bad. Why these shrimp are everywhere? Got them by the house. We got them down the road a little ways. A bunch of them videos I've been doing are down there with Jared is down there in St. Bernard. I think we went to uh, three different places down there and was catching shrimp. Um, oh, oh, oh. Almost lost one. But man, if y'all got a cast net, go find some moving water down on the bayou somewhere and throw it because uh, them shrimps is everywhere. Boy, this zipper is in the worst spot on these pants to be throwing cast nets. Keeps getting hung up. But that ain't your problem. Nice. Ooh, that wind is fighting me when I throw this cast net. It's blowing right at me. Right at me. Yeah, there's a lot of birds right there feeding. I can only assume that's what they're eating. But who knows? Ooh, got some bait fish. Y'all get out of here. It seems like the bigger shrimp on the main body. Look at that. Not as many. I mean, we still got some little shrimp right there. But that's some big boys right there. That's what I'm looking for. Ooh, birds are moving closer. And birds are moving closer, y'all. Hopefully that means the shrimp are moving closer. If that's even what they're eating, they might just be eating some uh some bait fish or something. Or something. Ooh, look like shrimp bouncing right there. Let me, let me, get, let me get this in there. Look like some shrimp was popping. Oh, look at the size of that dude. Look at the size of that boy. I don't know if y'all know this, but whenever you throw in a cast net, like if you're just throwing it out there for bait fish, you throw it out there, let it sink, and then you could just start pulling it in. But when you're looking for shrimp, them shrimp like to stay on the bottom during the daytime. So you throw it out there, you let it sink. But when you go to pull it in, don't just pull it. Kind of bounce it a little bit like that so that net can scrape the bottom as it comes in. And you pull them up, you got them. Ooh, they was jamming. Come to wave. Tell you what, ain't got no numbers, but I'll take the size. Uh-oh, I think we got a fish in this one. We got a fish or it's a giant shrimp. None of the above. Oh, no, we got a little fish. Oh, no, not a cat. They got catfish over here, too. Oh, I can't believe he come out that easy. Yeah, look at the birds. I can see stuff popping on top of the water, stuff chasing the bait in the water. So whatever it is, a big old ball or something that they eating. I'm gonna say it's shrimp. It's cause because that's what I want it to be. Gee, look at the bait we got in this one, cuz. Oh, and I'm gonna have to empty them all out on this dock because of that big shrimp in there, and I don't want to lose that big shrimp. So we're gonna have to go ahead. I mean, look at the pogey. Look at that. I wish I wish that's what we was hunting for. God, no, get out of here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, I just threw the shrimp back. No. Oh, no, the big one's still in there. Okay. I did lose a good shrimp. Come here, y'all. Yeah. Wee. Wee. Goodness gracious. Look at the pogey. Uh, all right. Come here. Where's that shrimp? Where you at? I hear you ticking. There he is. Look at that big boy. Look at that dude, he's pretty. Mm-hmm. 
Man, they just popping right there. It's popping up everywhere. I think I caught half the pool here I just put back, but we got some shrimp. A couple more nice ones. I mean, it ain't gonna feed the whole family, but it's gonna make a meal for me and the wife, I guarantee. Oh my goodness. We got something big in there. Something big. What is this? Oh no, we caught on the dock again. Oh, it's a drum, I can hear him. Yep, little baby black drum, little puppy drum. Probably eating on them shrimps. What you doing, buddy? Hold on, we're gonna get you out. Yeah, there you go. Felt him hitting the net when I closed it up. Whoo, there we go. That whole cast was a nice one. Look at that. Man, that's what I'm screaming. Get away, get, come here, no, come here. So two of you passed by when I was uh, just about to wrap up throwing that cast in and he yelled out from the parking lot and said, hey, what time the ball is? And I was like, dude, bro, it's going to take a lot more shrimp than this to make a big ball like we do it. You know what I'm saying? And he yelled out, he said, just cook them in the microwave. And I was like, <laughs> so then that had me thinking the rest of the time I had to go ask him. I'm like, hey, you ever cook shrimp in the microwave? Well, he was just joking. He said, no, I ain't never done it, but I'm kind of curious now how that's going to taste. Well, we fit in to find out. So I did what any red-blooded American would do, and I, I Googled it, or YouTubed it. And sure enough, there was a chef and a couple other folks that uh, cooked shrimp in the microwave. This is one of the easy recipes done by a chef, no less. I hope they don't serve it in a restaurant like this, but we about to find out what how it tastes. So all I'm going to do, I'm going to take me a little bit of butter. Got me about a tablespoon of that butter right there. Pop that garlic open, stick a little bit of that. Mmm, right there on top of that. And I'm gonna stick that in the microwave for a minute. Let that butter melt. All right, so we uh, might have blown a breaker back there in the nest, so I had to come up to the kitchen and uh, got a butter melted though in this microwave right here. Thank goodness we got two. Now that the butter, now that the butter and garlic is all melty and warm, we got our shrimps. Check this out. I even peeled them all fancy. And then got the peeling off, but just left that little tip of the tail like the restaurants do it. So for the seasoning, we got some parsley. I'm gonna sprinkle some parsley up in there. Give it a little color, give it a little flavor. A little black pepper. Come on now. There you go. There you go. Ooh, too much, too much. And a little bit of that Cajun Creole, baby. Yeah, a little bit of that Cajun Creole, baby. Then I'm gonna go ahead and stir it up with this here spoon. In case you want to know what that look like. And I'm going to take our little fancy, fancy shrimp. I'm going to dip it on one side. I'm going to flip it on the other. Do that to all five of them. Dip and flip. I'm going to give them a little spiral pattern for presentation. How's that look? Almost look like I know what I'm doing. Then I'm going to stick this in here in this here microwave. For about a minute. Why ain't it working? There you go. About to break the other one. Looks like shrimp. Looks pretty good too. Woo, still a little hot. We'll give it a second. Butter's good. Here it goes. Now this might be by you blasphemy and I might get a bunch of hate mail and death threats, but uh, Shrimp from the microwave don't taste too bad. Oh, I'll tell you what. Want a quick meal? Just bring the cast net out to the bayou, make a few casts, get you a few shrimp, slap them in some butter, and cook them for a minute in the microwave. I ain't lying, y'all. Y'all gotta try that. That's pretty good. Might have to try something else now. That's got me curious. What if I can ball shrimp in the microwave? Well, there you go, folks. We done been everywhere from one end of Lafitte to the other. Done been to one end of St. Bernard to the other. In previous videos, that is. Uh, I wish I could have got to that pier because I guarantee there would have been some shrimp there, too. But they're everywhere. Now, I did catch bigger ones in the main bayou. But more of them in a the little canal off the bayou. But uh, I say we got some data. We achieved some goals. And then... We learned something new. So that's why I encourage y'all, get out there, try something new if you ain't tried it before, cause you never know. Look at that, I'd have never known unless I tried that. I could take somebody's word for it, but you know, 
what they know all right bear with me folks we're getting right into this one i need a hard hat this thing this bucket and a boat battery yeah uh, uh, over that got frank over here already he said we're getting some shrimps let's see what we got cool bro you ain't been here but five minutes <laughs> All right, that's sweet. I brought my boat battery. I done took my trolling motor battery off my boat. I was wondering what was taking it. We got this thing right here. I don't know if this does any good for the shrimp, but I know it does good for the fish. All right, and this goes here, like so. This goes here. Oh yeah, look at that. Put some light in the water. All right. Well, that's there. I'm not sure exactly what that does, but we'll find out. Hi, Mink and Bone Gang, Vinny here. Back in uh, South Louisiana. Doing the shrimp thing, but this time we're doing it at night. So uh, a lot of people have been saying nighttime is when the shrimp are running. So is that true, Frank? From what I understand, especially with a full moon like tonight, the shrimp will come out and actually feed because everything feeds. So they're using the moonlight, they pop. Um, and so far, it seems to be that way. Yeah, I mean, judging from the bucket, it looks yeah. like uh, there's um, something to it. So, uh, let's get us some shrimps. All right, so I'm going to try and get the moving because I don't know how long these uh, these batteries are going to last. I got the boat battery hooked up to the big light, which is kind of shining down because I don't want to be shining in people's window across the bay. And uh, got the little headlamp, but that ain't, it's been sitting in my boat since last hunting season, so I don't know how long that's going to last. So, I definitely get some shrimp before we start losing all these batteries y'all can't see me and i can't see what the heck i'm catching shoot actually i might not even need my uh my headlamp right now this is enough light to see what i'm doing oh I mean, yeah no snags not yet huh let's see oh yeah oh yeah oh that's a nice shrimp that ain't bad we got one two three four five five or six let me put that in my bucket we got them all one two three four five nice shrimp too man all good decent shrimps wasn't the greatest cast but i bet you it comes up with some shrimps cool oh, look at that yeah i mean all decent too Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Well that's some nice shrimp. That's some nice shrimp. No babies. No babies. Alright Frank, what size you say that is? That's probably borderline 16, 21, 20, 16, 20, 21, 25. So if you ever heard anybody measure shrimp like that, the, the 21, 25 or 16, 20s, what they mean is that's how many of these shrimp it takes to make a pound. So if it's 16 to 20, that means it's 16 to 20 shrimp makes a pound. So whenever you hear somebody say that, throw two numbers at you and say that's what the shrimp are, that's what they're talking about. That's how they measure shrimp. The more you know. Yeah, every case every cast get a few i might have to do me some barreling just you know ball up a few what the heck is this what the heck is this some kind of some kind of land turd look at that old piece of float on looking like a turd you want turd shock you if it just gets up and crawls off right well that's why i was kind of hesitant to grab it <laughs> i didn't know if it was some kind of creature i didn't know about <laughs> yeah i think i'm about to take one of these shrimp throw it on a popping cork toss it out there and see if we ain't getting no uh trout everybody been saying on this bar at night if you got the lights a bunch of white trout and speckled trout hanging around so and i guess they all following these shrimp i'm trying to figure out how to grab this dude out of here with your hands man let me see what you got where's he at oh oh that is a gaff tie look just grab him by his spine don't start till it's further down if you just grab him by his uh just don't get stuck but you ever got stuck by one of these yeah it is absolutely miserable there you go i just saved your life right thank you Vinny and release Woo. 
Ooh, that was uh that was quite terrible we're gonna let it sink anyway man i hope y'all can see and i ain't just out here filming nothing even on a bad cast you got a big old shrimp oh no i'm getting hung on the back ripping holes in our net that's a big shrimp buying, uh, cast nets from Timu yet? no they, they're all more expensive than the one i got on, on this one. Oh really i got this one for like 20 bucks everything on Timu is like 30 40 bucks man, these are all nice shrimp like they're all pretty much the same size i like that I like that. I ain't got to pick through no small ones. Yeah. You know it's great? Right when you see the net break the water, you see all the red eyes. In my eyes, yep. What the heck is that? Oh, it's a little bitty baby crab. Look how tiny. Come here, little guy. Come here, little guy. Come. I said come here, little guy. There he is. Hey, look at that. He ain't no bigger than a tick. I hope it's not a tick. <laughs> Check him out. A little bit of baby crab. Yeah, you go grow some more. I'll eat you later. Gosh, dang it. Something must be tangled up on my on my net. At least that's what I'm gonna say it is. That's about two pounds of shrimp probably. Yeah man. Thanks for catching all them for me. You're so nice. Every throw. That's what I like to see. But I think I need to go get a fishing pole out just to see. I wouldn't mind going back with a trout or two. I'm gonna leave. Ooh, God bless you, because I'm tight. I'm gonna leave Frank on uh, casting duty, shrimp duty, while I go get a fishing pole. Now what I'm gonna do with this here, I got a little jig head on the bottom. I'm just gonna slap this cork on there, nothing fancy. Put it about 18 inches, cause it's really shallow right here. And I'm actually gonna start off with a artificial bait, something I had on there in the back of the Jeep. Now this thing is like a, it's called ultraviolet. That's the color. And I got, I painted the tail chartreuse, which is actually pretty similar to what them shrimp are. They kind of whitish, they're white shrimp. A little translucency, just like the bait. And then I, believe it or not, the shrimp have chartreuse on the tips of their tail. I uh, probably won't be able to, uh, I might be able to show you, you might be able to see it in this light. In the daytime, you can really see it. So, it's going to look just like a shrimp popping in the water, hopefully. And if there's anything in there, I get a little munch, a little munchy munch. And really, oh, hello. Well. That didn't, uh, that didn't work out as planned. My bad. I mean, look, it looks like a shrimp to me. Let's see. Question is, I'm gonna be able to see the cork. Yeah, I can see it. And nothing. All right, let's catch some shrimp while they running. And then uh, when I'm finished with the shrimp, we'll go back to the fishing pole. I can't be leaving them things swimming around in that water. I need them. I need them. I want them. They mine. Look at that one swimming right there on top of the surface. Yep. Man, he's drunk. He drunk or injured. He don't look right. Something might have hit him. Swimming in a circle. What you doing there, partner? Interesting. He's still swimming though. Hey, we got a Charlie horse. Muscle spasm. You know what I'm thinking? Uh, we ain't caught no speckled trout in the net. <laughs> no. <laughs> Cause my last, the last time I was out uh, throwing a cast net for the shrimp, I caught two speckled trout in the net, two small ones. Maybe if this thing was loaded with speckled trout, I might have caught one by now. But maybe not. Maybe not. You'd think with all these shrimp, there'd be some fish eating on them. Can you see that? Tell you what. I'm gonna be sad, sad when this stops happening. When these shrimp go, go back out. Or wherever they go. I hope, oh, well, I don't know. Did the, did the brown shrimp come this far in? I have no idea. So the white shrimp was a fall thing. In the fall, the white shrimp come out, and that's what you're catching. But in the spring, it's the brown shrimp. But again, I ain't no expert, so I don't know if we're going to catch brown shrimp with the cast net when that comes around. But uh, I'm going to try. I can tell you that. Oh, ow! Ooh! Can't stay by. Man, the shrimp. He stabbed me with a unicorn horn. What's crazy is we cast them in the same spot over and over again and catch the shrimp every time. Oh, good lord. What you got, huh? Well, all I see is glowing eyes. Jesus. <laughs> Here, go show that camera that. 
all up on the top, on the bottom. I want a big old marsh turds. You got a shrimp connect to do it too. Oh, come on, shrimp. I'm trying to get away. Yeah, you better put that in my bucket. Trying to steal my shrimp. Seems like they're closer oh, to. Oh, you got a little baby drum. He's drumming. Look at that little guy. Oh, little me. puppy drum. Caught one of him last time too. You losing everything. Come here, buddy. I will save you. Ooh, sorry about that. <laughs> Come here. Whoa, calm down. Calm down. Dude, are you on speed? What are you doing? Lay off the amphetamine. So if you're not familiar with this, this is a black drum, similar to a redfish in the same family, only it's uh not red. It's black. But these also have to be, I think it's the same regulations 16, as the redfish, yeah. huh? Yeah, 16. And you can only keep five, but uh be free. All right, I'm gonna try and throw closer to the bank just like Frank was doing on the other side, because uh Seems like that's where all the shrimp is. Oh yeah, that was a good throw. I like it. Can deal with that. Oh, what is that? There's some fish in the net. I felt that thing try and swim and it scared the crap out of me. Another drum. Oh my goodness. Shrimp, Dude, I can't tell. Well, that's probably why the drum's there because all the shrimp. No, no doubt. God, look at them all. All right, hold on, dude. Wait, is that a drum? No. That's a sheep head. Little baby sheep head. Those don't have a size limit. No, I want to keep that one though. No, he's too small. They're a pain in the butt to clean that small. Ain't gonna get much off of them, but that's a sheep head. Come here, buddy. Now, again, if you ain't familiar, this here is a sheep head. Look at that. You can see his teeth. Almost look like human teeth. And them little front chompers. And they, they use that to crack shells, chew up crabs, and eat barnacles off of stuff. Ooh, he's missing some finnage right here. Check him out. All right, buddy. Be free. Be free. Chica -chica. Bolt, bolt. Yes, sir. Go cool, get them all. Yeah, that's definitely where they at. By the bank. We're getting like a dozen every cast by the bank. Probably fill up the bucket in no time. Yeah, but not too close to the bank. No, not too close to the bank. Get hung up. Oh, or is that what you just did and didn't get any? Okay, I got it. Oh, I got is that one? Probably because you didn't call them all. Probably throw them in the middle and catch them when I when I let them replenish. Mama said there'd be days like this. Hey, how unlucky you think that dude is? What's that? Jeez them. <laughs> dude. <laughs> how? His horn is stuck into the wood. What in the world? Dude, are you throwing shrimp darts? How did that, did that happen like just from coming out the net? It had to have been. Dude, look at that. Like he's in there too. <laughs> look at this. Like, look, I'm, I'm tapping him. Okay. Oh. Goodness gracious, dude. I'm glad that wasn't your finger. Yeah, that's a healthy bit of shrimp right there, cuz. Look at that shrimp swimming right there. I'm gonna catch you. I'm gonna target that shrimp. Gotcha. Sight casting shrimp. Look at that. Yeah, how much you think that is, man? Still about right here. Oh, about. About three pounds, three, four pounds. Wait, did I throw a cast without the shrimp? Nope, I got one. Okay. Whew. Almost had to quit. Uh-oh. Either we got a giant shrimp or a fish in the net. I don't feel it flopping like a fish. But I heard that little splodish. Oh, no, it's just a big shrimp. Just a big old shrimp right there on top of the water. What you doing there, partner? Ooh, got three, four of them in there. Five of them. There we go. Mm. That's a mess of shrimp. One of these days, I'm gonna get a whole bunch of crab and a whole bunch of shrimp and have one of them big old balls, you know, where you bust out the big pot. But, since it's just me and the wife, I'm gonna go ahead and boil them up right here on the stove like I have been doing. Now, what I'm doing different this time is I wanna try cooking these shrimp a different way. Seen it on the internet from a fellow Louisianian and uh, I, wanna, I wanna try it see, if it, see if it works. Now, he didn't do it exactly like this because this pot right here, we put all the fixings in because this pot ain't quite big enough for the fixings and all the shrimp. Now, the difference is I already put the seasoning in the other pot with the fixings, and I'll show you what that is because we're going to do the same thing in this. But first, we're going to put the shrimp straight in to clean water instead of putting the seasoning in first, which is kind of strange to me, but that's what he said because we're trying to get these shrimp to peel perfectly. Ooh. Ooh, the shrimp only have to cook for one minute, y'all. 
So we put that in there. Oh yeah, we're, we're gonna have enough. The problem is, is this thing ain't gonna stay rolling once I put the shrimp in there. It drops down, so so that might mess up the whole thing right now. So we don't know. We won't try it. Oh Lord have mercy. Look at that. I'm gonna put that top on. Hopefully it'll come back up to a ball. Who knows? We might have just ruined a whole bunch of shrimp. Alright, well I never did get up to that rolling ball, but they are uh but they cooked. So it was hot enough for sure. But now I need to stop the ball. I need to stop them from cooking. So I'm gonna go ahead and put some ice in here just to chill it and then we're just gonna have to compensate for some seasoning you know problem is that ain't a very big pot now we ain't got a whole lot of room for seasoning so we probably got to pull some water out of there once it cools off but if you ain't messing up you ain't trying nothing new cook that down be some good shrimp stock all right now it's time for the seasoning that burrow mix I'll dump a little bit of that in there dump a little bit of more of that in there a lot of bit in there, some of that liquid, and some of that hot sauce, Louisiana style, baby. Let's see what that look like. Ooh, yeah, look at that water change the colors. That's what it's supposed to look like. Now we're gonna let that sit and soak for about 30 minutes. All right, y'all, 30 minutes is up. The shrimp have been soaking for about that long. What I did was I pulled me out a little tiny one and a big one. I want to see how they peel and I want to see how they taste. Boy, I'm not good at spinning that camera around when I'm talking to you. I want to go for that little one first to see how, let me see. I got to find a better way to look at y'all. For y'all to look at me, whatever. I'll take this little one first. Ooh, that shell feels crunchy. That means it should be easy to peel. Head pop right off. Oh, look at that. got the flavor in it too i'll be a suck egg mule steel cracker you got something going on cuz let's try that big one. Oh man sha so easy to peel so easy to peel look at that oh he's gonna slide right out watch that whoop oh i mean what can i say you're on to something there, cuz. Another thing I like to do with them there shrimp is put a little bit of dipping sauce on it. Now, I like to make my own, but uh, I really just, all this cooking got me just wanting to get in a full belly and taking a nap. So I'm gonna put this stuff on there like that. A little bit of dipping salt. Mmm. Sa, se, bon. Maybe the next time we do a balling video, I'm gonna go ahead and make our own sauce. We'll take our time to do that with all the different ingredients. And when I usually do a big bowl, I put a lot more ingredients in that bowl. I like to put lime, maybe some oranges. Not lime, not lime. Lime would probably be good too, but I like to put the lemon, some oranges, some wishes here sauce, a whole bunch of other stuff. So next time, we'll have to get together, get a big old ball, show you how we do it right. Look at that water boiling with shrimp. Look at them. Y'all stay in there. Hi, hey, Mickey Bone Gang, Vinny here. Today's video is going to be a little bit about necessity, a little bit about curiosity, and a whole lot of, I just love shrimp. So I'm on my way to that little bridge that started this whole shrimp expedition uh, to see if the shrimp is still running. We done had two cold fronts and uh, starting to warm up from the last one, but people say that affects them somehow. I don't really know what we're going to go find that out. But the reason I'm really walking there is because I need to go anyway, because I have to feed my pool pond bass. About to go away on vacation for about a week and uh, I'm going to get their bellies nice and fat so that they can survive. Uh, of course, there's a bunch of little perch in there that get hungry enough, they're going to start eating them too. Anyway, this bridge right here is where I catch all the uh, little bogeys, some minnows, some cockahoos, little baby perch and stuff to feed to them pool pond bass. So that's uh, where we headed. Check out all that progress. They're building a bridge to cross the bayou right here. Uh, for some reason, they didn't want to put it where the old swing bridge was, so they're going to put it right here by my house. Terrific. That's a workout. All right, got our rope back. All right, and now, woo, don't lose the top. That would have sucked. Now we need to get a little bubble ready. Get some oxygen flowing in our bucket. I don't know if y'all noticed that, but I, I lost the stone, kind of broke off of this thing, so I tied a weight to hold the tube at the bottom. It's gonna be a little turbulent in that foam, but it'd be all right. Yeah, I guess that works. All right, let's see what we can get. If there's anything down there to get. Been a couple days, been a couple weeks since I threw it right here. So 
What a beautiful day. Son of a biscuit. That is beautiful. If they didn't have all that beeping and hollering going on over there, be even more better. Stupid bridge locations. Here goes nothing. Nice cast for the first cast. Let her sink. All right, here goes. See what we got. Oh, I'm seeing something in there. A couple of things. Oh yeah, we still got shrimp, baby. Look at that, boys. One, two, three, four, five, at least. At least five shrimps. These five of them little shrimp daddies. One out of there, let's see. We'll get a good count on them. Thought I seen something else weird. No, that was just a piece of grass, all right. Ooh, oh, a big old jellyfish right there. That's not a bad size right there. These are kind of small. This little one's small, but that's a good one for the fish. For my basses. Y'all get up in there. Come on. Yeah. We got shrimp. I love shrimp. Got this jellyfish going on too. Look at this thing. I hope that's not the stinging kind. I don't think so. And release. After we get uh, enough shrimp and whatnot or whatever we're gonna catch down here in this little canal straight off the bayou i'm gonna hit these little ditches right here which is where i usually get my fish bait uh my bait my fish my uh food my forage for the full pond bass until these shrimp started popping up and then i just started hitting this hard because them bass sure do love these shrimp when we get back i'm gonna show you how i feed them one little two little shrimps three little shrimps oh wait there's a fourth one in here Hey, they're not as big as they have been, but I mean, I could eat that too. A couple little guys for the fish. Feed the bass the little ones and feed me with the big ones. Also got this little con this little cooking contraption I need to try out. We're about to go camping and I got to make sure it works before I take it with me. Ooh, that wind's blowing right at me. And want so bad to cast on that side of the bridge but i already got two cast nets lost down there and uh, i ain't trying to do a third it's getting expensive no oh, that was terrible nothing but jellyfish oh we got one shrimp There we go. Got a few better ones that time. Yeah, there we go. That's what I'm looking for right there. These two dudes right here. Oh, exactly what I'm looking for. Very nice, very nice. And you gonna feed the bass? And you gonna feed me, cause you ain't too bad neither. Give me enough for a good old fashioned sandwich. one yet today what you say bird what you hunting for you eat shrimp Woo -woo. that was a good cast there we go got a mess of them in this one and a little baby crab not that we want a little baby crab but oh look at that cool look at that that's a good throw right there boys yeah, get out of here, crab, because even though you're that tiny, it hurts. I mean, it don't hurt that bad, but it does hurt. Go and look at him. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to have a good lunch. Good lunch. Still getting shrimp. That's what I am talking about. I wonder how long it's going to last. We're in here mid-October. And uh, I have to go back and look when we started catching the shrimp right here. Tell you what, this keeps up. I ain't gonna need no grocery store. 
Cause it's hunting season two now. We getting squirrels, about to start getting some Nutra. Might even be getting me a deer this year. So stay tuned for that. Subscribe if you haven't. Oh, another good one. Not as many, but the size is getting better. Well, at least I thought it was. Ain't that bad though. Good eaters. We got water boiling with shrimp. Look at them. Y'all stay in there. Don't come out. No, get it back in the bucket. call that popcorn shrimp y'all i didn't have the camera on for that cast but look at that look at all the shrimp in this cast <laughs> jeez um. oh we gotta count that i want to count how many is in there oh man look at that look at it let's get a good count on that uh, one two Black Jack. Well, I reckon we better toss that right back in the same spot. For some reason, this area right here holds the most shrimp out of all of this whole thing right here. And I don't even remember on that side because, well, I'm kind of angry at that side because it's a cast net thief. Stupid side. I didn't bring no water. I'm kind of thirsty. Of course, catching that dish rate, we probably ain't gonna be here that long. God, another good one. Another good cast. Not nearly as good. Ooh, not, not nearly as good, but that's four, five, six. Yeah. Oh, wait. I hear something ticking. Something's still ticking. Did we miss one? Oh, yep. Got one ticking back here. Oh, I'd I miss you. What that is? Oh, that ain't good. That's too close to the bridge. Liable to have a snag down there. But I'm still gonna let it drop like a couillon. Woo, what we got here? What we got? Little baby croaker. Yep. Little baby croaker. He going in there because I know my bass gonna like to eat him. But that's what I like about throwing a cast net, jug lines, crab traps, stuff like that. You just never know what you're gonna pull up. I done pulled up turtles in the crab trap. I done put up all kind of stuff in the cast net. Like we're aiming for shrimp, but you never know what this thing's gonna fall on top of. And it's like, you know, it's like a surprise, like opening a Christmas present every time. Ooh, just keep on coming, baby. Get out of there. Out. Now the only problem with coming out here and catching these shrimp with this cast net is I only intended to come out here for about maybe 30 minutes. Now I don't even know if we hit that 30 minute mark yet. Probably not. But every time I throw it and pull in more shrimp, I just want to keep throwing it and pull in more shrimp. I mean, all I need is a handful for lunch and a handful for the fish, but shoot, I like shrimp. Sorry about that uh, fuzzy, terrible, disgusting lens. It happens every time. Every time I throw the cast at and I kind of forget about it, forget to clean it off. And then while I'm editing, that's when I realize it. And I'm like, these people are gonna hate me. They're not gonna watch my videos no more. But uh, yeah, please don't do that. I'll do better. All right, y'all, let's take a break from the bridge and we can go hit this ditch right fast, see what we can find in there. Check this out, how nasty that looks. Looking a little nasty, but uh, it's kind of crazy. This ditch flows into the canal which is tidal. So sometimes the ditch got water, sometimes it don't, and it really depends on uh, the tide, not the rain. Anyway, that's how you get so many different things up in there. I even caught shrimp right here in this ditch, believe it or not. Ooh, look, the other side is cleaner. Might go try that too, look at that. Or maybe you can't see that yet. I'll show you when we get close. Yeah, I don't think I want to put my net in that. That looks way better. And by way better, I mean, it looks a little better. Ooh, they got a bunch of stuff bubbling in there, though. I think they too tiny. Oh, here a squirrel. All right, let's give it a toss right here just to see. Come on. Let go. Let go. I said let go. Probably going to pull some kind of disease fish out of here, kill all my bass. Oh, we got something? No? Yes? No. No, about right, yeah. 
Ooh, too far. Too far. Oh, oh, I seen something, Shimmer. Seen something, Shimmer. We got something. Oh, yeah. I don't know what these things are, but my bass love them. Let's see. See if you can name this fish. Oop, they stuck in the net. Actually, these might be the mollies. Oh, never mind. These are the sailfin mollies. I know what these are. Check them out. Oh, I uglied it up. Hold on. Okay. That's a pretty fish. Check that out. They pretty. Good fish tank fish. But, uh, these are going in my pool pond. I think we're going to make another cast in the ditch. Try and get some more. Don't need much more. And then we'll hit that bridge one more time. Sorry, I keep looking up because I keep hearing them squirrels. Don't I wish I was squirrel hunting. I'm going to do that tomorrow, I think. All right. Where were we? Right here, huh? Let's try it right there. Right past that. Usually where you catch some, they all stack up. At least that's been my experience. They school up. Let's see. I ain't seeing no flashing. Mm, no. All right, we're going to scoot a little further down and do this one more cast. And then we definitely got to hit the bridge just to clean off the net, if nothing else. Because that's disgusting. Probably going to get some kind of disease myself. Ooh, what we got? What we got? We got some. I told you. I told y'all. Look at this. Watch this. Hold on. Let me get back to my bucket. Y'all see how far away I am from the canal, right? Let me show you. What a nice guy. Switch lanes so he wouldn't cachet me on the side of the roof. This guy might not be so nice. Goodness gracious. I try not to get killed. But look at this. Look at these shrimp. Now these are different shrimp. I don't know. Huh. I wonder if that's a different species of shrimp. Check that out. I mean, they they much darker. But is that just because the water's nasty right here, or is it because it's a different kind of shrimp? I mean, do grass shrimp get that big? Y'all tell me down below in the comments. Inquiring minds want to know. All right, let's clean this nasty thing off and get some big shrimps. Woo! I'm gonna need a bath. How that lens looking? We still clear? Uh-oh, no, please no. Oh, there's a snag right there. He hung up for a second. But speaking of snag, we snagged us a few shrimp. Oh, ho, ho. not a whole lot of size, but that's a few. And a few will do. Three more casts, we're gonna feed the bass, and then we're gonna cook them up. Not the bass, the, the shrimp. And then we're gonna chow down. Oh, right in the snag spot. Come on, cool y'all. Let me scoot over so that don't happen no more. Wait, I better pull it straight up because it'll probably snag if I pull it sideways. Oh, right on it. I can feel it again. Use. Okay. Whew. All right. Do not throw it back there, cool y'all. What are we looking at? Couple of them. Apparently, them shrimp like that snag. Yeah, look how white these are compared to the ones we pulled out the ditch. Now, this guy. I mean, he looks similar, but he's still lighter than the ones we pulled out the ditch. Yeah, look at that big boy. Come here, big boy. Not you, you. Come here. Yeah. Woo. All right, last cast, y'all. Last cast. Maybe. Depends. Depends on how many we get. I told y'all it's hard to quit. Oh, we got a big fish. Let's see what we got. Oh, big croaker. I don't think my bass is going to be able to fit him. Shrimp in there, though. Get out of there, shrimp. Come on, shrimp. There we go. See, that's a better size croaker right here. Now, my big bass could probably choke him down. But what I don't want to happen is me throw it in there and him not eat them and this dude end up dying in the pool pond because I'm pretty sure he needs some salt to live. 
So we're gonna put him back, let him go, let him grow. And uh, that other one, I'm gonna show y'all, that other one's gonna get chowed down as soon as he hits the water. That little one. All right, y'all, I think we got enough. Enough for me, enough for the bass. And uh, getting kind of hungry. So let's go feed them fish and then feed my belly. You see right there, I got a little bitty baby minnow swimming around. Uh, guy's not looking too healthy. Yeah. Maybe something will eat it if they think it's alive. Here. I'm alive. Oh, we got it. <laughs> I'm alive. Oh, we got it. All right, I don't know how much of this stuff is still alive in here. Oh, this guy's alive. Come here. Come here. Where'd you go? Come here. Oh, 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 I feel some flapping and some flopping. There he is. Come here. There we go. Oh, there's a perch in there. It's around there somewhere. All right, let's see how fast this guy gets chowed down. Oh, up close and personal. How about a shrimp? This shrimp is not alive anymore. Oh, but he got eaten anyway. Almost got my hand. All right, let's see if we can get the GoPro. See if we can get some underwater footage. Yeah. All right. All right, now that the fish have full bellies, it's time to burrow some shrimps. Got a few peeled up right there. Don't want to cook too many in case this is a disaster. Don't want to be wasting nothing, you know. Anyway, what I have here is basically a communist ripoff of a jet boil. Unless the jet boil is made in China too. But anyway, about to go camping like I think I mentioned earlier in the video so we're gonna see if this thing works because I hate to get all the way out there depending on this bad boy and it don't want to work so got this little top right there this comes with two little pots and then they got a bunch of stuff in the inside let's see by the way this isn't sponsored by whoever made this or the app that I got it on which will go unmentioned we take the pot it's supposed to connect to the burner like that and this here butane I think this is stuff is it ain't propane yep isobutane it's supposed to fit right on here yep yep mm -hmm. there we go that's pretty nifty this opens up and I reckon this goes on here so it don't fall off if we do it right well come on now oh 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 it snaps on look at that <laughs> Safety second, I like it. Uh, let's pour some water in here first. Not exactly deep. This thing looks huge, but it only uh, holds water about up to there, about 0.75 liters. Not even a whole liter. It's kind of disappointing. Something floating. All right, now let's kick this bad boy on. Good thing about this thing is it's got its own little starter. So assuming that it works, we just click this bad boy. Woo! Oh, now that's nifty. That's pretty nifty there. Crank that puppy up. Add some of this crab barrel. Oh, that should be good. Probably too much. Probably way too much. I'm not sure if this is supposed to go on there while it's heating up. I don't know if it'll melt. I better not. I'm going to go ahead and stick this on there, though. This might help. Keep that heat in there. Hopefully it don't blow up.
Wow, it's starting to steam already. It's starting to boil already. Holy crap. Oh. Oh. Dude, that was quick. That was quick. Okay, let's turn it down. Easy there, partner. Slow it down a little bit. Slow your roll. Oh, now that is, that is awesome. That is pretty awesome. All right, so I already peeled these shrimp just because with the heads and the shells, didn't want it to be too, uh, take up too much room. So I'm just gonna drop these in there. And I could probably just shut it off right then and there. I don't have to let it cook very long. Oh no, that chilled it. That killed the ball. Crank it up. And she bagged the ball in already. <laughs> I like it. I reckon that's done. Oh look, I mean this little camping thing too here. Look at this. See if we can't fish some of these out of here. Folks, I ain't gonna lie, I like it. That thing cooked pretty quick. Shrimp without the shells on didn't need to soak, but it did soak up all the flavor. Oh yeah, that's gonna be used in some catching cooks on site. So make sure y'all stay tuned for that. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Let me know in the comments if y'all wanna see some more uh, pool pond uh, videos where we feed them fish. Let me know if you wanna see some on site catching cooks. Let me know if you're loving these shrimp videos. But um, once again, Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Hit that thumbs up button if you like it. Subscribe if you haven't. And I'll catch you on the next one.